right, and you might be wondering why I'm on the home screen. It's because <laughs> I never closed the game from last night, and that's my fault. Because uh, after I went through that ending, I was in a hurry, so I was like, "Hey, let's go to uh, watch a movie with my family," and then I just never booted up my Switch again. And it's been keeping this game open since yesterday, so if that's why this seems familiar, that's why. Okay. I'm sorry that we're just kind of above jumping back into this, but... I'm just trying to, like... Hmm. Sorry. Just got a text. Um... We are just kind of jumping get back into this, so skip feature. I'm gonna do exactly what I was doing last time at the end. I'm just gonna essentially skip through what we've already seen, and if something stops, I'll go through it. But for the most part, we're going to Mayuri's route. <laughs> yeah, this is when. Uh, Trying to figure out about FB, huh? You know what? I haven't had my drink yet. I need to get my drink to get my energy. <laughs> this might be an unpopular opinion, but I don't hate Marika. Like, Kitty America, I don't hate her. And I think that's because I realized that she's a pawn that was used. Literally, she was just... Like, she did do the things she did in the future. And that's not acceptable, but... She was basically hounded by the wrong people. Had we reached her first, she might have actually... Been, like, I don't know. She might have been, like, a really great friend of ours. And that really sucks because you can't you judge people by their actions, and if you judge people by the actions they haven't taken, but the future the actions they will take, what does like ah <laughs> I hate it. You can change actions in the future, so I don't know. For my early sub Orion. Saw Orion last night. I was it was really pretty. I hope you were looking up at the same time because then it would be like we were close by, even if we were really far away. Thoughts of romantic, if you think like that, aren't they? Yeah, I saw it too. Orion! Stupid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here's the guy who liked space when he was in first grade. Can't even fucking pronounce Orion. Yeah, I saw it too. First night in a while, I've had time to look at the stars. But I don't think it was Orion. <laughs> Not one word. But I don't think it was Orion. That's a winter constellation. Yeah, that should do it. Oh man. I don't know what the two endings are gonna bring. We have five hours until I have to go to walk. Honestly, if we, if we were technically speaking, I have five hours and 50 minutes. But. This is when I was like, oh, come on. Why on earth would you make the father, the lovable, like, angry dude at the beginning, kill himself? The one that Suzu had entrusted with a wish, like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. So I'm, I'm gonna get to this choice again. I wonder if I skip through the choice... And we find out the little girl is the assassin that, again, not an assassin, she's the one who killed. <laughs> oh my god, this freaking deviant look. And 
Haven't seen you in <laughs> my way. Why can't been acting strange lately? So why did you even go to Common Mod today? Are you at the lab now? Maybe I go there now. I haven't seen you in a couple of days, you know. We usually see each other like, every day. So it's really lonely. I know it's only been four days at most. But I'm used to being with you all the time. I'm your hostage, remember? Don't let go. Is this when I realize? Yep, <clears throat> this is when I realize. Sorry, this seemed off. I was like, wait a second, didn't this happen during a bad ending? Yes, it did. I was like, I get completely spaced out on this ending, I forgot about it. Here we go. You guys ready? Hello. Oh. My Yuri. Uh. Yeah. Don't stop. What's wrong? Um, I heard from Dadakun that Okenny has been acting kind of strange. Mayushi was so preoccupied with Kamima, she didn't really notice. Even though she usually notices right away when Okarin's not happy. I'm sorry, Okarin. Don't apologize. You've done nothing wrong. Um, did something happen? <laughs> I can't tell her. I can't. I kept it a secret from all this time. That's the way it has to be. There's nothing wrong. Dude, no, she knows you're lying, dude. Oh. You know, he used to talk to my Yushi about a lot of things. Remember? Like, um, the organization's four leaders. Their names are. Back Turkish, Virginia Burp, Balloon Drag Queen, and Wild Eye Gore. Right? Like Turtis, Vermilion Bird, Blue Dragon, and White Tiger. Yeah, that! You know, it was really fun talking to Okarin about stuff like that. But now. Um. Okarin? If I use a burden, just say so. Okay? What? I never! I'm hanging up now. If you feel like talking to my Yushi about anything, just call. Okay? Do -do -do. She hung up on me. What did Mayuri say? Vain. I wonder how this is gonna differ then. Is he not gonna confess to Maki say? Or is this gonna be the exact opposite? He tells Mayuri everything and then he lets Maki say live.
すまないうさい<笑>俺は I want to save my a i more than anything I can't save you Am I gonna cry again? I'm gonna cry again I know When I finish I feel as if weight has left my shoulders And at the same time As if a thousand needles are stabbing into my heart Well then I'm heading back Back? Where? To America? A lab, of course. I need to dry my clothes. I want to take a shower, too. Okay, so we should go back together. But before I can suggest it, Kirisu beats, Kirisu beats me to the punch as if she read my mind. You stay here and soak for a while. Understand? We can't go back together. That's a verdict. Understand. We know it's the middle of summer, and the air conditioning isn't working. I can't stop shivering. No way I can look Kurisu in the eye anymore. I realize that part of me is glad that we didn't have to return to the lab together. My self loading echoes in the darkness. Mm. Oh, damn it. I wait about two hours before returning to the lab. Kurisu is already gone when I get there. I already got in touch with Daru. The hacking starts tomorrow afternoon. Chose Mayuri. Or let Kirisu die. Chowing didn't soften the wrenching pain in my heart. Really? Anyone here? It's Okarina. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just decided to stop by. <laughs> Maybe I should explain the situation to Mayuri. Oh, yeah, because in, uh, in my Makisei's route, it just kind of skipped over. He's like, he explained, Mayuri, she, he explained to Mayuri everything. So I guess in this one, we might actually see it. I haven't talked much with Okarin lately. But you know, I don't want to be a burden on Okarin. Can I really let it end like this? Didn't I tell her what Kurisu was sacrificing for her sake? Did you take a shower? <laughs> Smell good. Like shampoo. Stop that. You know, I didn't go to Kamima today. Huh? Why? I was thinking about Okarin. When I got to Ariake, I remembered how sad you looked. And then I thought, I shouldn't be having fun at Kamima. So I turned around and came all the way back. So, sorry for making you worry. Should I tell her that I keep her in the dark? You know, I haven't talked much with Okani lately. Maybe Mayushi's getting a little lonely. Mayuri. How would you feel if I said I was keeping a secret from you? You mean like Okani and Christian are actually dating? <laughs> no, don't get crazy. That happens on another world line. Where did that come from? I can't even Christian get along well. Really well, right? I think you two are meant for each other. No, don't tell me that! No, it's nothing like that. Oh. Okay. You don't have to tell me everything if you don't want to. It's hard to normally keep secrets from your hostage. This isn't the time for that. She doesn't want to be a burden. Again. So I wait until Okarin's ready to tell me. It's like I said yesterday. Remember? 
And if I decide to never tell you, or I'd be curious. Really curious. But if that's what you want, even if my secret involves you, I haven't told you because I don't want to hurt you. And why are you look so sad all the time? Then, I do want to know. I don't like it when I'm getting sad. Even if it means you might get hurt. Yeah. Maishi doesn't want to be a burden. But Maishi was sad because of what happened to Granny. Or getting took Maishi's sausage. Remember? That's why Maishi always thought. And whenever I got him sad, she would let she would lend her strength to him, you know? But she might not be useful though. Useful. Maybe he's going to die tomorrow. Been through it once before. She died protecting me in her last woods war. Finally, I knew she was. Useful to walk out in. So this is what you meant. I don't want to see you hurting. Hey, well, that's how she feels. I tell her everything. Take a seat. Can I get some snacks? This is serious, remember? Oh, right. Okay, ready. Everything I'm about to tell you is true. It's related to those dreams you had. I plan to sacrifice one of our friends. For your sake. Okarin. <laughs> God damn it. This is not the time, man. You will soon regret your curiosity, my dear. For the deeds of the great Hoin Kyoma are many and terrible. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm, try I'm trying a bit more, but it's I still can't get the laugh. I'm sorry. So I begin. It's because the mad scientist whose first experiments brought everything to ruin. Start with the first raid on the lab. Tell Mayuri how Moika killed her. Next, I tell her about Suzuha and Ferris, about Lukako, Moika, FB, and Nei. I describe their fates in every detail. And finally, I tell her about Kurisu. By sacrificing Marcus A. Kurisu, I will embark upon a journey to a glorious new world. And that is the plan most grand and devious of the insane mad scientist. Oh, and Kiyoma, I call it. Made in heaven! <laughs> What's the matter? The whole time you and Christian were hurting. My she was making costumes. Like nothing was wrong. I feel so stupid. I didn't know anything. Of course you didn't. That's how I planned it. Are you disappointed in me, Mayuri? Sorry, but this is who I am. I would do anything, sacrifice anyone to accomplish my goals. Whether you like it or not, you're coming with me to the Beta Ward line. You're my hostage, and you have no say in the matter. <laughs> The chaos descend upon the world. That is the choice of Stein's gate. My lady ignores my performance. She gets to her feet and lurches towards the door. Where are you going? I need to see Christian. Please, O'Kenny, I have to talk to her. There's no way I can refuse my lady's request. Thanks for coming to see me off. Does that suitcase mean what I think it does? Oh, yeah, it does. 
帰るのか Going back to America. アメリカに I was supposed to go back at the beginning of the month, but then I ran into a certain math scientist and ended up staying longer than planned. There's nothing else I can help you with anyway, and I don't want to be a liability. <laughs> Doing this for me? She's trying to outrun her fear. It's not my right to stop her. Even if I did, it wouldn't change anything. Today, as planned, I will crack Sun's database and move to the beta world line. I've made my decision. <laughs> What's wrong, Mayuri? Are you feeling sick? <laughs> Come on, Mayuri. <laughs> I can turn the volume down just a tiny bit. Not too much. Whoa, what's going on? You don't want Christian to disappear. You need to hear this, the desperate plea in Mayuri's voice. She gives me a look that asks, Did you tell her? You can't disappear. Not for Mayushi, okay? Mayuri. Mayuri doesn't want to live if Christian has to die. Oh, it's just the exact opposite of the other one. Damn it. I suspected Mayuri might say that. It's absolutely essential that I remain firm. I feel bad for Kirisu, but it needs to be said. This is the way it has to be. I chose you, Mayuri. You have an obligation to live. Pain stabs to my heart. These words are reprehensible. Kirisu and I made a pact. She agreed to trade her life for yours. That sacred covenant is broken. This world is doomed. I clenched my fist tight, trying to desperately to suppress my self-hatred. Don't put Kirisu's feelings to waste, Mayuri! But... But... Thank you, Mayuri. But this was my decision, too. I'm okay with it, really. Okabe loves you, you know. What are you saying? It's true, isn't it? It would make him really sad if you died. You don't want him to be sad, do you? But if Christian goes away, it'll make Mayushi sad. Yeah, I know. It makes me sad, too. This was going to happen eventually. I had to go back to America sooner or later. Man, this drink is really... It's blue as... Because I'm feeling blue. <laughs> so even if you move to another world line, just think of me as being in America. It's practically the same thing. That's not the problem! I don't want Christian to disappear! Stop this, okay? Don't make Christian disappear. You have to listen to us now, Mayuri. Uses a gentle tone as if speaking to a child. Okabe. Okay. Never let go of her again. I know. Well, I'm off. Thank God I never have to see your silly face again. I'm sorry. I repeat the words in my heart again and again, begging for forgiveness. Don't go, Christian! Please don't go! Don't follow me! I don't want pity. It will only make it worse. This is my decision. Nothing you can say will change my mind. Goodbye. Promise me, Mayuri. Promise me you'll find happiness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. This was my decision. Mine alone. Kurisu would disappear. For I chose not to save her. 
I chose to bring chaos to the world. Can't forgive me, can you, Mayuri? Then hate me. I hate seeing this image right now. Like, I've seen her teary and, like, crying, but she's legitimately in pain right now. And it's fucking, it fucking sucks. <laughs> but even then, you're staying with me to the end. I have chosen. I have to save you. I will let Kurisu die. So hate me. Love me. Curse my name. But I will not turn back. Nobody can stop me now. Tell me how you really feel. <clears throat> I really feel? I wanna know what's in your heart. Your honest feelings. And she doesn't want to be a burden anymore. You're not a burden. How can you think that? This is about me because I want to save you. Because I can't fail to lose you. Yeah. Thank you, Okarin. Thank you. I've been having scary dreams lately. In those dreams, you always try to save me. They weren't dreams, were they? You're fighting to save my Yushi. Aren't you? I'm not getting. You know. My Yushi loves you. And she can smile every day because you're there for me. Can we be together from now on, too? Of course. How can you ask that? I don't want to be apart from you either. Yeah. May you see will find happiness. Just like I promised Christian. Yeah. Let's be happy. Together. We will. Never let go of me. I won't. Let me love you forever. <sighs> of course. So let's go with this. Operation Verdandi. Time has come. We will now commence the final phase of Operation Verdandi. Today is the last day of Kamima. I don't want him to attend, of course, but a little begging convinced him to prioritize the operation. These 20 days have been constant change. It's incredible to think that at one point this lab had a whole 8 members. And now we're back to 3. The memories we made. The experiences we shared. To save my area, I will undo them all. There is sorrow in me. And guilt. But still, I, cho I choose to erase our memories. I choose to return everything to normal. Suzuha's mission is relevant. I'm not doing this for the future. As long as my Yuri lives, nothing else matters. Daru. Daru. You may begin. Yeah? Yeah. Use the IP 5100 to access certain central database. There we will locate the first email I sent on July 28th and erase all trace of its existence. With this, I can reach the beta world line. Look at my Yuri to see her sitting straight as well. Pressing her grandmother's pocket watch, pockety against the ear. Her eyes are closed. Whenever Mayuri wants to calm down, she listens to, that so to the sound of the pocket watch. Ever since we parted with Kurisu, Mayuri has said nothing about my choice. 
Yeah, she's coming to terms with it in her own way. Yeah, actual walk. I've left to Dadu. No problem there. While waiting for him to finish, I walk into the developing room. In the center of the room is a time leap machine. I made irreplaceable friends because of this thing. Because of this thing, I've hurt them. But I don't want to blame the tool. It's how you use the tool that matters. Got to admit, it saved me more than once. But still, once this is over, I'll destroy the time loop machine. Must never make the same mistakes again. I found it! It's really there! The email I sent? It's there? It sure is, man. And there it was, the message I wrote about Kurisu's death. In Japanese, so I can't read it. <laughs> Someone stabbed Maki Sekurisu. Thank you. This data led Sen to our doorstep. The FFP's instruction, Moekan around was attacked. Suzuha is right, and by erasing this data, we will escape from Attractor Field Alpha, where Sen dominates the future. That would take, that would take us to Attractor Field Beta. I wonder what's gonna happen. If, cause in the original one, sorry, not in the original one, and Maki stays without. Maki said came back to say I love you, but... What's gonna happen in this one? It would take us to Attractor Field Beta. To a future without Mayuri's death. Nope. Here we go. It's okay. Everything's set. One press of the enter key, and that data's gone. Ella stands up and gestures to an open seat. I leave that on it to you, Okarin. I sit down and face the keyboard. This time, it ends. Kirisu's face floats from my mind. Close my eyes and take a deep breath. Goodbye, Kirisu. Victory! Is at hand! With unimaginable brilliance and unwavering conviction, I have defeated our vast and powerful enemy and now stand triumphant on the field of Ragnarok! I give thanks to the comrades whose sacrifice made this victory possible. One press of the key, and Kurisu would die. Finally, grab my coat at the shoulder, where it has been stitched together with jagged pink thread. Coming word. It's the word I wish for. Wish for Mayuri to live and Kurisu to die. That is the truth. And I must never forget it. This is. This is the choice of Sign's Gate. This is the choice of a car baby and Taro. Kongu. Let the world be reborn. Beating stand and activated. Around the room. Everything is where it should be. Looks like nothing has changed at all. Should be a seam on my shoulder where Kurisu sewed it up for me. But. It's gone. My last trace. The twenty or so days Makase Kurisu spent with us at the lab disappeared from the face of the earth. Nothing has changed. This world is exactly the same. In all respects, save one. Kurisu was never here. I thought that I was prepared for this. What's wrong, Okari? <clears throat> Say, Mayuri. Mayuri. Yeah? Nani Nani. Who's Lab Man 4 again? Need to ask. Even though I know what the answer would be. Or, but Okarin, there's only three lab members. Remember? Okarin, Mayushi, and Darakan. <clears throat> Tears come. Yeah. Right. Our lab doesn't have a fourth member. It never did. Existence was rejected by the ward. Okarin. Something really sad happened, didn't it? Mayushi is here for you, Okarin. Okarin, don't cry. Please don't leave me, Mayuri. Please, stay by my side. Forever. Mayushi will always be with you. Always. Just like this. A trace of Kurisu existence has vanished. This proves that I have returned to my original ward line. This is the ward I struggled to reach. 
the words Suzuha traveled through time to create. A world with the future is free. Nothing has changed, and yet, this is my utopia. I gotta say, I'm really happy I went through Makisei's reference, because as sad as that was, especially with seeing my Yuri crying and everything, like, it didn't invoke the same emotions that Makisei's route did, because while... In, in Mayuri's route, it is sad because she knows the truth, she's told everything, and she has to deal with the fact that she can't do anything and that they already decided. But when we move immediately to the next timeline, he just breaks down. Like, it's sad, but he just immediately, like, lets go of the emotion. And, that, and I feel like... While that is sad, it's not as sad as Makisei's route, well, he is legitimately giving up the woman that he loves. And when he tr goes into the other route, he tries to play it off like he is the mad scientist. And Mayuri, like, immediately sees through that character and just tugs him. She's like, it's okay to cry. And he breaks down, like... I don't know. I feel like Makisei's route was the better of the two. I know this was the Mayuri route, well, I guess, technically... Okabe realized his love for Mayushi, but I don't know, it's just I preferred Makisei's ending. Not because I prefer one go over the other, but just the way that the endings were written, I just felt like Mayuri's was definitely a lot more concise, while Makisei's felt a lot more like you could tell Like the thing with it sucks because both routes you can tell why Okabe feels the way he does about each girl. And he's sa he's legitimately trying to save Mayuri in every single scene. He cares so much about her that he's willing to undo all of his friends' wishes to make her wish, not even her wish come true, just to make his wish come true that she live. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, I love that they actually <laughs> said Dr. Pepper. But, um... I wonder if those are all the, like, legitimate places. But, uh... God, what am I trying to say? You can see that he... Like, no matter which route you take, you can tell how much love he has for each girl. That There's no denying that. Even though Makise was only there for 20 days, I've probably spent, like, a lifetime just cat relying on her because of how often I time-leaped. So it felt when he said that he loved Makise, it didn't feel like a cop out. It felt like a genuine, like he legitimately had feelings for her. Makise's feelings towards him was a little eh, but you can tell, like it made sense. And the payoff, despite saving Mayuri. This is the first time that. Wait, this is the first time we're doing this beyond the credits, isn't it? I, I guess I should save my thoughts for after this, huh? Night of the 17th pass, and night of the 18th pass, my Yeti still didn't die. Kept a close watch for three days since then. There have been no attacks, no accidents, no sign that anything might happen. That was enough to convince me that my Yeti was safe. Together with Dado, I destroyed the phone wave and the IBM 5100. We would never be able to send email again. But at the same time, Sen will never send the rounders after us. When I went to check out Radi Khan, I found it open for business as usual. Instead of the news about the satellite crash, the July 28th edition of the evening newspaper featured something different. There was a report on Kudisi's murder. There was no follow-up. In other words, the culprit is still at large. According to Dada, the police questioned me several times. It was I who discovered the body, after all. Of course, I don't remember any of it. At any rate, my Eddie is still alive. I've accomplished what I set out to do. It's over. What? <laughs> Why are you crying? Oh, Kevin came to pick me up. You waited for my Yushi. I'm so happy. Don't get so happy over every little thing. <laughs> Aww. Oh, she's blushing! 
So my usually class changed from hostage to girlfriend, right? Indeed. Ah, oh, so they actually do get together in this timeline. I have no idea how to respond to such an embarrassing question. She's right. Mayuri and I are officially a couple. After these long, painful 20 days, I finally noticed how important Mayuri is to me. Plus, she told me that she loved me. Thank goodness it wasn't just a dream. Let's get going already. I'm gonna die standing in this damn heat. But the lab's hot too, isn't it? At least we've got a fan. Besides, I'm thirsty. Gotta get my daily dose of Dr. P. It's Sunday. Nothing about this town has changed. Yet it feels like something is missing from my life. An uncanny sensation. No doubt it's the gap that was left by Kurisu. But there's no such thing as a perfect future. That is the fantasy that nobody can realize. I mustn't forget. It's the future I wished for, fought for, and won. I have what is most important to me. Mayuri. I should be thankful for that. I am blessed far beyond the common man. She's always like this. Sometimes she just wanders off. This world line is worthless without her. Shout her name at the top of my lungs. Over here! God damn you! <laughs> the hands with shaved ice. You said it was hot, remember? I thought it'd be nice to eat something cold. Don't scare me like that. You're so relieved. I want to embrace that small body of hers, but we're in public, so I stop myself. Hold my hand. Okay. Save these shaved ice for when we get to the lab. It's too hard to eat while walking. Eh? But won't it melt? If it melts, it melts. Oh. Well, I guess you're right. We can't eat if we're holding hands anyway. I won't let go. I won't ever let you go. Maybe she won't let go either. Okay, Rain. Is it possible to dream when you're awake? When you're awake? You mean a daydream? Is that what it's called? You're so smart. Um, I don't know who it was, but my Yushi feels like she had a very important friend. What? And whenever I think about the important friend, my head hurts. Like, hmm, you know? Sometimes I hear a voice. A voice? The voice tells me to find happiness. All of that was undone. I wonder if that voice is the reason my Yushi's with Okari now. Perhaps everybody remembers their experiences from other world lines. Those, may be, those memories may be vague and tenuous, but they're there. They speak to us in the forms of dreams, visions, and deja vu. If I ever meet that person, I want to tell them, thanks. Not the only one who remembers. I wonder who it was. Must have been God. Oh, well, thanks, God. My is really happy. Alright, well that ending was a bit better than what it left off at with the credits. <sighs> Got a stuffy nose, but I didn't get tears this time. <laughs> um, That makes me feel better, though, because while both of them had reconciled loves, one of them ends with his love, you know, being left in another world line, and that makes the ending more painful. But this one, while the ending isn't as painful... It's more heartwarming than the other one was because you actually get <laughs> Mayuri and Okani as a couple. And I'm just like, ah, yay. So now if I go to the uh, clear list, there's Mayuri. So wait. 
if we're getting one for each of the guz, then the two ending has to be. It's not, I mean, it doesn't have to be. If we're doing the pattern of all guz, then is the last ending Moeka? Or is it legitimately just going to be um, Okabe? Anyways, regardless, it seems like I need to look into. Now that we've actually finished my ways out, I need to go back into looking at the two ending requirements. So, I actually, in my original save file, I did unlock Kurisu's route. So, I think I'm actually going to continue from my save file. Because it starts at chapter 4, and I had Kurisu's route unlocked, so I just have to make I have to start after it started. Oh god, <laughs> bad face. I'm trying to remember though. What was Dogma? Was that chapter 4? Because this was chapter... No, wait. Chaos Theory was chapter 4. That's where I started the requirements. Dogma is chapter 5. I hope I'm right, because if this actually undoes <laughs> Kurisu's route, that's gonna suck. That is really interesting, though, that I managed to get Kurisu's route on my first try. Like, I didn't even plan it. It just happened. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, don't do that again. Okay, the mail is plans with traveling expenses. Gotta remember that. Okay. This is the one she tells him about the dad. See, it's small things like this that made me think, yeah, I guess Marcus says um, feelings make a bit of sense. Maybe we should go to the overnight bus to fit our budget. It's fine. I'm fine either way. Oh, so I responded with overnight bus the first time. <laughs> but it, it apparently it's supposed to respond with traveling expenses. Interesting. <laughs> what do you mean nonsense? Die! What the hell, Okabe? <laughs> from Kirisu, from assistant. Okay, I'm assuming, like, for the longest time, I thought there's like a little pig face, you know? Like, the pig nails, pig eyes, and pig eyebrows, but no, I'm pretty sure it's like, blushing, like, Covering your face, right? I'm assuming. Sorry for getting mad, but Okabe, did you have to say it like that? <laughs> this song is it. This song, I'm gonna just... I have to learn on piano now. It's like it plays in my head 24-7 and I cannot stop it. The other day I was going to watch Captain Marvel and the guy was playing classical music and I'm like, oh, you know what? This reminds me of Steins Gate. Okay, so I did... I'm gonna go with that one since uh, I've got I've done the other two already.
Uh oh. Not this again. Oh, never mind. Fan service. Hello. Can I festimas? Hmm. I'm just gonna respond to my Yuri because yeah, I already done both so. My life has no meaning. It's all gone now. No one will look at me. Not anymore. What can I do? Even if I shout, no one can hear. My voice can't reach the one more supported to me. I walk alone through dusty gray streets, forever pounded by lukewarm rain. Such is the fate of the defeated still. Ferris is here. Someone find me. What tuny nonsense. If you want attention, come to the lab. My and I are here for you. <laughs> Don't trust Maki say. I'm gonna go detain the freaking FB, I guess. About my Eddie Chan. <clears throat> you and my Eddie Chan don't go places together. You're both lab members, and I heard you were chattered friends, so I thought. I'm sorry if I misunderstood. P.S. I did 30 practice swings with Samadari. I like how Luka-chan... Okay, not Luka-chan. I like how Luka-ko <clears throat> always tells um, Mintaro, Hey, <laughs> I did this many practice swings today. Like, that's the entire thing the relationship is based off of. God, what do we do in this chapter? I mean, we're looking at each other. So obviously we're thinking about doing something. Oh, right. Okay, I remember now. That's when we were like, oh, we finished the time loop machine, but let's not use it. <clears throat> yep, I remember this one. Oh, hey, this one's different. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I just pressed the goddamn button. <laughs> I was like, oh, is Ferris Chan actually... So, Ferris Chan, I'm just adding Chan after every freaking name now. <clears throat> I was gonna say, Z does that mean Ferris is now joining the party? Cause since I told her she was invited anytime she wanted to? Oh god, all those heartbeats though. No oh, wicker. I wonder if this is faster than the visual novel, because you get you get to skip through all the text, but in here you have to skip through all the scenes too. So it might take a little longer in the visual in this game. So we're seeing Akabe with regular, like not regular hair, but like <laughs> typical anime protagonist hair. <laughs> Seriously, look at any anime, and if the guy has freaking bangs like mine, he basically is an anime protagonist. Man, I'm gonna go through a lot. Ah! I don't think the next... If I remember correctly... Yeah, okay, so I don't have any other text. In Chapter 6, it's no text. It's just the Suzuha ending. I have to go through. Ow! No, not this one. Looking away. I'm looking away. I'm not looking. Pressing music time. Well, it's not depressing. It's the suspense for depressing. <laughs> Funny Moeka. 
man, it's hard for me to believe that this whole scenario took one stream, and I'm just like, oh, hey, I'm blazing through it in, like, five minutes. <clears throat> Did you have a puppy face? Or was that just the art style? You have your own spoon. <laughs> just like, damn it, I'm gonna kill myself five hours from now. <laughs> Ah, yes, Suzuha. Now we go to the Suzuha ending. Sorry, we don't go actually to the Suzuha ending. We skip it. <laughs> Not skip it. We choose the right ending so we can go to the next chapter. That's what I meant to say. Because Lord knows I can't go through this goddamn heartbreak again. And going for these ult this ultimate, <laughs> going for these two endings is just so time consuming most of the time, but hey, most of the time it's worth it. I went for the true ending and no, yes, I went for the true ending and Doki Doki. No, not true ending, I guess there it was called the fulfilling ending. But I went for the fulfilling ending and it was worth it. Because I got to see all the interactions with all the members. It was fun, it was nice. It was interesting seeing all the changes too. Ah, damn it! Every time I come up on this scene, I want to see it again because I want to see this voice acting. Mad scientist! So cool! Son of a bitch! I'm upset they lost that in the dub. Because the dub's just like, oh, he's just a foreigner, so let's try talking the way he might talk. This scene plays again. I go back in time because I'm looking for the pin. And I find Daru. Here we go. Well, okay, not this one. It's actually after this. I like how you can use one controller up until the point you have to make a choice, because you can make the choice without pressing the ZR button. <laughs> you know, honestly, I could probably just use a single Joy-Con, like, sideways. But then it would be... I'd have to hold it like this, not like this. I'm so sorry that it's green screen. It's... I have something in my hands, I swear. <laughs> This is the sad vision. This is the orchestrated suspense version. Here we go. Bring on the choice. Oh, 
Okay, I can't go through this again. I'm going through. Okay. Now we should be on the next chapter, which I believe... has three messages I need to look out for. Here we go. The key. <laughs> well, I don't know this message. Um, there's nobody at the lab. I don't have a key, so I can't get in. When are you coming over? I just assumed you'd be here like usual. Kind of feels like I'm visiting your home. I know that I want to visit your home or anything. Hello, Sundar. Okay, so I'm curious. The message, correct message is I don't have a key. What is home? Quit it. My room is a dead sea. Take one step inside and it's too late. So it's I don't have a key. He's the one hidden in the switchboard next to the door. And let's do it. You gonna send a message again? No? Hmm. Huh. Here we go. Assistant from... <laughs> I love the sub. It's just like, oh. I'm assuming that's a surprise face. Or like a hand, like, oh. Find the key easily enough. Don't you think your security should be tighter? Should have thought about that before picking a fire with Cernable. <laughs> so what's with this frog that's been left with the key? That one's bad taste? Only a maniac would put something that gross there. Actually, it scared the crap out of me, but keep that a secret, okay? Hello, okay? Because I'm supposed to reply to security, but I'm curious. What are the other ones? I know, I screwed up. It's all my fault. That's G Gerald Froggy. <laughs> Gerald Froggy. That thing's popularity exploded last year. I'm sure the organization was involved. I don't need any of your frail girl up here. Your strength has helped me more than you know. Oh. Huh. Right, I was careless. I should have known better. Nah, no, that should do it. I forget those animated scenes actually don't skip. It's weird. Do, 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 do. This happens again. Light up the fog. She dies. Red. Leap back in time. Hmm. You're delusional. Are you seriously considering electronic locks and card keys? Who has that kind of money? You're being ridiculous, as usual. You need to face reality for a change. So reality is the correct one. I never said anything about the electronic locks and card keys. Where did that come from? Oh, I get it. It must be an effect of time leaping. Yes, money is a problem. Sponsor that allowed with your thesis publication money. Seriously, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just pretty here. Oh, I don't care. I'll tell you the truth, but keep it secret. Sun is after us. I need your help. What? Huh? Interesting. Anyways, now we have to say yes to the. Ferris ending demo. Gally. Can't tell if this is true or just more of your usual BS. So, Kabe, this is a serious situation. You're turning into the boy who cried wolf. So, only tell me the truth from now on. Please. I mean, yeah, he's so caught up in his delusions that it doesn't seem like he's in reality anymore. Anyways, I turned down the volume because of the freaking uh, credits and I forgot to turn it back up. My bad. Real quick, I'm just gonna go through a quick scene so that way I can adjust the audio again. Okay, just a little louder and we should be good.
Oh god, so beat up. They actually give him blood in this too. Like in the visual novel, he just looked like bruised up. You need to stop comparing. I need to stop calling the, vis the original the visual novel because this is still a visual novel. It's just presented differently. Okay, I always get that note wrong. <clears throat> And I send this one. Get the other one out. And then skip it. Chapter 8 Factor Androgynous. So I think I have one message I need to send in here. <clears throat> Respond to ex may I explain yourself. What do you mean? Because I'm getting mails that I didn't get in the previous playthrough. So. <laughs> it is kind of sad that after that mail, hello. It's kind of interesting that um, she's just kind of stayed out of the story after that, after her. Like that's what I'm upset about so far is that after we undo the mails, they don't take a part in the story as much anymore. And it's sad because it's like, oh come on. Let's steal our friends. Don't make them disappear. Like, I get Suzuha. I understand why that is. But Ferris, come on. Ferris, Lukako. <laughs> okay, so she actually does respond to this in this timeline. Hey, what the hell was that just now? That was some loving hug. I'm seriously jealous. Uh, no, not about getting hugged by you, but about having someone of the opposite sex to lovely hu lovingly hug. Don't misunderstand me. And anyway, what was that about? Oh. Hey, this music is different. Wait. This is called explain yourself. You respond to mail, explain yourself of what do you mean, but this says what was that? This isn't the same. What? I'm assuming it's because of the translation, but... Okay, I need to save. Just in case I make a mistake here. Don't worry about it. It was some, something I had to do. I hope this isn't a mistake. It says respond to explain yourself with what you mean. And this is the only thing that's blue. So. But that's the only message I had to respond to. I have to wait until chapter 9 until I get the contact me idiot message. Damn it, even though all you do to me is sexual harassment. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> ah, God, I love these interactions between them on the phone. Here we go again. <laughs> Look if it wants to talk. I want you to be my boyfriend. Is that what she always like? I know her father made her appear feminine, but she continues to do it without much, uh, like reluctance. Is it because she wanted Okabe to? I don't know. She just wanted Okabe to like like him. I don't know. But he said it doesn't matter, so I don't understand. Here we go again. 
just gotta wait until the freaking choice is given to me. <laughs> She's blushing. Also, I completely missed this. I don't know if it was because I was playing the Elite version and they didn't mention it, or... I don't know. I guess I feel like I completely overlooked it, but they were actually reading off of a manual. If any anime they didn't read off a manual, that might explain why it was omitted. But, yeah, in the visual... In the original... They... <laughs> Neither the new dating advice, so they were basically they were basing all of the guesses off a of manual. So I thought that was pretty funny. Because I think he actually says later on, like I blame that accursed manual assistant from an unpopular girl. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. I know we haven't even started reading this yet, but I'm like just the subject. I don't really care if you get yourself a girlfriend, but don't forget about the time leap machine. This th the thing is serious. This thing is serious. We need to get everyone together and decide what to do with it. I understand you're doing this for my early sake. Just remember, there's no, there's more to this than just Urushibara-san. To be honest, I'm still afraid of this monster I've created. It'd be better if we could talk about it. Skipping through. Also, I'm really upset because. In the visual, in the original, they kept Lukaku's like original clothes, but in here they actually gave her something cute to wear. And I'm like, oh come on, why did you, why did you do that game? Samadare. Okay, here we go. What's my other remote? I need to send it. I don't want to go through this again. Skip! Here we go. Okay, really quick, I'm looking at the... Another contact me idiot with traveling expenses. Okay. It's the only mail I have to respond to. Oh god, and then more like a suicide. We find out about. Kill her if you must. Okay. Take the phone. Push her down. Lock the door. Send the message. I like how... You know how he's like doing the thing while he's like pushing the door back while keeping his like foot on the railing? I find it funny because I usually do that like... Not like pushing the door back, just, just sitting in that position. I don't know. Sometimes it just feels comfortable to me. It's like stretching. The kiss of silence. <laughs> Lip bite. And now we're back to this point. So that means we shouldn't have a lot left until the true ending round. Oh, this soundtrack is phenomenal. I'm surprised how it makes the same track shit. I'm surprised how it makes the same track seem so like it makes the same couple notes in different played in different ways make it so it works in different like environments. Okay, this one I will have to say for because this is incorrect. 
the wiki page anyways is incorrect. Because the wiki page says, Respond to mail contact me idiot with traveling expenses. That doesn't say traveling expenses anywhere. <laughs> I need to make sure I can choose the right one though. Could you Is everything alright? What happens to the, with that Kiryu lady? At least let me know if you're still alive. Don't say anything stupid like you're dead, okay? <laughs> Please just reply. Even an email would do. I'm so worried I can't even eat. Sorry for making you worry. I appreciate these emails. I really do. They remind me that I'm not alone. Really? The, which one is the right one? But, uh, like, uh, these ones are both good. I'm looking this up. Times a late two about mm. Come on, where do I find this? Nope, that doesn't tell me anything. Cause this is wrong. Respond to explain yourself. What do you wait? Sorry. Respond to contact me and with traveling expenses. That is not good. That, that traveling expenses was a couple of chapters ago. God. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look at the original visual novel and see if this message is here, okay? So I'm gonna delete Elite and see if I can find it, because this is annoying. God damn it, why does the game have to be so new, huh? <laughs> Alright, um. Okay, keep on going down. No, no, stop it. Get off. Get off my face! Okay, what chapter are we on? I'm in chapter 9, right? Okay, if you got all four true ending flags up until now, Kurisu will email you with the subject, contact me, idiot, reply with worried, and read it next text messages. Okay. Got it. Got it, okay. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> I was freaking out for a little bit because I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't want to repeat like another 10 minutes of dialogue just because I chose the wrong one. Maybe this isn't what you want to hear, but I need you to listen. I don't care about Aomori anymore. I just want you to be safe, Akabe. When you ran out without saying anything yesterday, I felt like my heart was going to explode. So hurry back, please. Oh. Oh. And if, if I'm right, I don't think I have anything else to do in this chapter. Okay, so... True ending unlock requirement. Respond to mail, contact me, idiot, with telling. So that's obviously false. Send email. 
If that's yes. Wait. Okabe and Kudisu's conversation scene, what's that? I'm gonna assume that's when the <laughs> the Nye ending happens, but it still goes to the next chapter, right? I have to choose yes for this one. And in chapter 10, I get the last email. We have found the final leap in the... Yep. I guess once we send the last message, we'll get the true ending. But who knows when we'll get that last message. Here we are, finding out that, uh-oh, we have to delete Makisei to save Mayuri. And it all comes back. We're in chapter 10 now. I mean, this is when we find out Mayuri still does die. Despite it being more than four days after the original date. She was finally useful to Okarin. Here we are. This is it. This is it, guys. This is when the two ending begins because I don't think I've ever gotten a text message after my lady died. What's... I have to respond with... I have to respond to, where are you? Here we go. Where are you now? Where are you? You haven't been to the lab in two days. Are you still in Akihabara? We're worried, you know. We're acting strange yesterday. I want to help, so tell me where you are. I don't feel right not having you around. Where are you? I want to see you. Let me be alone. I need to think. I don't think she'll send me anything for a while after seeing this. Alright, when did the changes start? Because right now it's like Mayuri's call is the same. Oh, yeah! Oh, wow! Okay, so that's the difference. So in Mayuri's route, she calls, and here she just sends a text message. Because I don't answer the phone call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that message did go actually after item left, so. Raining. Okay, is this gonna be the market save out? So. <laughs> yep, it looks like it. Tries to say my area over and over again and fails every single time. And then this is when I say I love her. Interesting, so this plays out exactly like Mark says about Or did I do something wrong? <laughs> I 
Is this when it changes? When I'm about to send the message? Is this when it happens? No. Wait. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Wait. I did something wrong, but the music's different. Why is the music different? What is going on? I am so... Hold on. Two ending male responses have met. Yes. Chapter 11, open the Stein's gate, but... What did I do wrong? Do I actually... I, I, what, the, it, I unlocked the Caduceus route, so, did I not? Is there, is it different in Elite? You only have to respond to a couple of the males? Because everything afterwards was what it seemed like the two ending was leading to. I am so confused. There's something wrong here. Please tell me there's something after the credits. Because this doesn't seem right. Ah! Hi? Uh... Hello? Eh? Who? Dad? You're looking for your dad? I'm your dad? You lost me. Eh? Put Okabe Rintaro on. Hey Okarin, some strange girl wants to talk to you. Who is this? Please, come to the roof of Radio Kaiken right away. Who is this? Came from the year 2036. I'm Hashida Itaru's daughter. My name is Amani Suzuha. Wait, Suzuha? Why are you here? Hello, credits. Yes, we're going back. To the very beginning. Chapter 11, open the Stein's Gate. Oh boy. Here we go. She said to meet her on the roof of Vatican. No way. Wow, what's that? It's a robot, right? A transforming kind. What is that thing? I mean, it looks like Suzuha's time machine, but there's something different about it. Suzuha looks old and beat up. Suzuha looked old and beat up. Suzuha's looked old and beat up. I can't fucking read. This one looks brand new. It's not stuck in the wall either. And besides, this is the beta world line. Suzuha had no reason to travel 2010. Since dystopian occurs in the alpha world line, which is why Suzuha told me to escape from the beta to the beta world line to prevent it. So where have I seen that satellite before? There's something better in the building, but Of course. It was at Dr. Nakabachi's presentation. Right before the presentation started, something shook the building like an earthquake. And when I went to check the roof, the satellite was sitting there. Okabe Rintaro. Suzuha! 
She seems a little different, but it's definitely her. Part-time warrior. John Titer. Time traveler from 2036. Daughter's daughter, who will be born seven years from now. Why are you here? Are you Okabe Bentaro? I need to know. Y yeah? Wait, she puts it makes it sound like she's never met me before. Is she really Amane Suzuha? Hold on. Just hold on one second. My mind can hardly keep up. I'm a time traveler from the year 2036. I have a request for Uncle Okarin. Uncle? You're an uncle? So we become me and the. I'm assuming that's a nickname, but if it's not, then. He thought he doesn't have a sister, and I don't have a sister, so. But okay, I don't know. I don't have time to humor Mayuri's question. This world line is headed for World War III. Need your help to prevent it. Please, help me change the future. What the? What the hell are you talking about? World War III? Oh no. That's really bad. Uh, are you really a time traveler? You're not just messing with us here. Stay out of this, Dad. Dad? Whoa, that was a shock. I mean, it's not every day a mysterious beauty calls me Dad. Though, to be honest, I prefer to be called Big Brother. <laughs> Come on. Wait, everyone just wait. Let me think. Take a deep breath. Okay, let's figure this out. Is that thing a time machine? She hasn't smiled once. There's no hint of the cheerful Suzuha I remember. Instead, I sense strength, conviction, and still resolve. Father built it. That's right. Where did you come from? The year 2036. Stopped in 1975 in 2000 first. You... what? A time machine can travel to the future? You wouldn't be much of a time machine otherwise. Yeah. From a different future. A different future? What's going on in 2036? What about Sun's dystopia? Sun? What's that? She doesn't know about Sun? That said is that she's definitely not the Suzuha I know. She said something about World War III? Right, in my time, humanity has been reduced to less than a billion people. Less than a billion? But the population now is like 6.7 billion. Are you saying 5.7 billion people died? That's what happens when you use nuclear weapons. It was like that. It was just like that. The cold. It was just like the Cold War. Only this time, they were fighting over time travel technology. It started with a race between the EU and Russia, and the Americans got involved, and things really went to hell. They were all desperate to stop anyone else from being first to build a time machine. Whoever controls time controls the world, right? Time travel again. It has the power to grant your dreams and at the same time destroy everything you love. I know that better than anyone. In 2036, the war's over, but it left the Earth in ruins. We won't survive for long, not as things are. It's unbelievable. In the future of the Alpha World Line, Sun used the time machine to fashion the dystopia where no one could oppose the rule. Susan had traveled to the past to change that. He showed me how to escape that convergence. The result is this. 
the beta world line. He has 7 fails to complete his time machine. But instead, 5.7 billion people die in the fires of nuclear war. So this can't be happening. Are you okay? Why is this happening? You lied to me! You said a piece of future was waiting for us on the beta world line! We saved my early, we changed the future. Now after everything we did, Suzuha appears before me once again to say that it wasn't enough? Why a point of great divergence, when... I know that already! And you understand? 5.7 billion people are about to die, and the survivors will be left with no future! No hope! Came to prevent that. And to do that, I need your help, Uncle Okari. I refuse! I came here from the Alpha World Line. I had to sacrifice the girl I loved to make it this far. I can't go back. Not to the World Line where Mayuri dies. I don't care if 5.7 billion people die. I won't let her. I won't let Kuri's to sacrifice be in vain. They can't be compared. Wait. You mean you've been to another attractive field? Wow. So that's the power of reading Steiner. How do you know about that? Dad told me. But I've met you before, Uncle Karim. In the future, that is. You've met me? I see. So the me of that attractive field went to the past, too. Uncle Okarin, I know you don't want to, but... No! I won't let my Kurisu's death be in vain. I won't let my Yuri die! Huh? My Yushi dies? By Kurisu. I assume you mean Makise Kurisu. Listen, Uncle. I say, hypothetically, that the only way to change the future of this war line is to go to July 28th, 2010, the day Makise Kurisu dies, and save her. What would you do? What? Save Kurisu? The Kurisu who was murdered on July 28th? But how? We no longer have the phone wave or the time leap machine. And even if we did, I could never leap that far back. Hello! Look in front of you! The time machine. We can use your time machine! Go to July 28th, save Kurisu and return to the present. No demails, no time links. Genuine, physical, time travel. July 28th, 2010. Shortly before Kurisu was killed, I saw it standing in this very spot. As sure it is, it's standing before me now. Only one thing that can mean. It has already been established that this time machine will appear on that day in this place. Even before I sent the first email, my participation was assured. Even the thought of turning Suzuha down now is meaningless. Nothing is coincidence. Everything is inev inevitable. The revelation makes me dizzy. It's like I don't have the tiniest atom of free will. As if my every action from the moment of my birth was planned for me by some cosmic force. The world line I'm aiming for isn't... What did you call it? The Alpha world line. It's not that. What we're aiming for... Is the space between attractor fields. The space between? The lies of world line unaffected by any attractor field. A world line known as Stein's Gate. That's the tuning name I pulled out of my ass! Doesn't even mean anything! I was told that Stein's Gate is a brand new world line. One no one has ever observed. But didn't someone have to observe it to know it's there? Nope, it's never been observed. That's what makes it new. I'll be right back real quick.
Oh, come on, I go away exactly when there's a vein. <laughs> Team Exelica, thank you so much for the vein. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Where's my TV, Ultima Kamai? How you guys doing? I'm sorry, I went I went literally AFK right when you guys showed up. <laughs> Welcome, guys. What's up? Not much. I am actually going to the true ending of Steins Gate right now. And, yeah. I don't know if you guys know what Steins Gate is. <laughs> but, uh... There was a... It, used to, it was a visual novel back in 2009, and... They released an elite version, which basically shows the anime cutscenes with the visual novel text, which I thought was pretty cool. So I thought I wanted to check it out because I've been hearing stuff, good stuff about Steins Gate for the longest time, and now we are going for the true ending. So if you guys have not seen Steins Gate before, this might be really confusing, but it looks really well made. It really is, and honestly, I feel like the scenes that, like. The visual novel seems so... It has such a beautiful art style. And I feel like if you want that art style, it's a good option. But this definitely feels like the definitive version. This feels like... The goods of both combined into one. You know, the anime and the visual novel. Because it's the anime, but it's a visual novel. But yeah, I'm going to continue um, reading through the text, so... Again, hopefully you guys know- if some of you guys don't want spoilers for Steins Gate, I highly suggest you guys play the game yourself. Because this is such a good game. I, I can explain the Nasu verse, so Steins Gate is no problem. Alright, well thank you Team Exelica. I really appreciate it. I hope your stream went well. Alright, let's continue forward with more Steins Gate. Dad and Oka, God, I combined words. But Dad and Uncle Okanin were able to calculate its divergence. Negative 0 0.081609% relative to the current world line. That's where we'll find Stein's Gate. To reach that world line, we have to save Kurisu. Exactly. She's the key to averting World War III. As long as she lives, the war won't happen. At the very least, 5.7 billion people won't die. Why? Huh? Why Kurisu? I mean, I know she's a genius, but are you telling me she's the hero who will save 5.7 billion people? I don't know. You don't know. And you expect me to go along with this? Hey, I'm just following Dad's plan. But apparently, you're the one who came up with it in the first place. There's a flaw in your plan, and we're all in trouble. Sounds like you didn't hear it from me. Is that right? You passed away 10 years ago. 15 years from now, that is. The year 2025. So I don't know the whole story. What I do know is that my dad continued to work. After you died, he built this time machine all by himself, just to see your plan through. That's my super hacker. Uncle Okarin. Like I said, Steins Gate is unobserved. Nobody knows what future awaits us there. There's a chance that a dystopia rises from the ashes in World War III. There's a chance that Makase Kurisu dies just two days before you save her. There's a chance that you don't die in 2025. 20, but next week. But there's also a chance that when 2036 comes, there will be no dystopia. No war ravaged by war. There's a chance that everyone, including Makase Kurisu, will still be alive. There's a chance that a wonderful future awaits. Nothing else, it won't be the year 2036 I came from. It won't be the 2036 on the Alpha World Line either. Is an unknown future really for the best? I would hate for the ending world to say, despite your best efforts, you made everything worse. It's completely unknown. Completely unpredictable. There's no way I can save Kurisu. 
Even if I leapt through time and changed the past, everything would converge at the end. But if you're willing to try, if you're willing to come with me to July 28th, then take my hand. <laughs> Kurisu. How I have dreamt of saving her. I would do anything, anything to change her fate. But how do I know this invitation will lead me into another maze of despair? Mayushi doesn't understand any of this. But this Makase person was very important to you, wasn't she? I think you should go for it. 5.7 billion people, man. I can't even imagine. But don't sweat the small stuff. Just save the girl and you're set for life. It's the dream of every otaku. But it's not enough to overcome my doubt. The Makase Kurisu we knew. Lab member 4 is already gone. Even if I save her on this world line, she won't remember any of the time she shared with us. So there's no point! I won't bend time to my convenience, not again. If I try, I just end up making things worse. Reason pleads with me to stop. I take her hand, and then with resignation, I'm in. At the end, no matter how much I struggle, the choice was made for me against my will. On July 28th, the moment I laid eyes on this time machine, my fate was sealed. Fate wants me to take your hand. Who am I to argue? I'm not at all confident that I can save Kurisu. How many times have I tried to resist fate only to fail? But I have no choice but to go. There's a chance, however small, that she can be saved. I have to try. Let's go. Thank you, Uncle Okarin. Hop aboard! Can this thing even fit two people? Of course it can! It's my dad's masterpiece! Daru, your daughter really loves you. I don't get it, but stop calling me dad! I'd rather be your big brother if you know what I mean. Be sure to come back, okay? I don't want you to disappear, okay? I'm not going to another ward. It's just a short hop to the past. Phone. Better not to bring it. It'll cause interference. Oh, shit. No! That phone is... Oh, wait, but we don't have the time loop machine. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I see. We're going to July 28th. So there'll be two of me, and if I bring it, two of my phone. I guess that could be a problem if I got a call or something. So time travelers really do need to be careful about what they bring to the past. Shut the hatch. Silence engulfs us. That should do it. Sets our destination July 28th, 2010. 11.51am. It's cutting it awfully close. Remember that Dr. Nakabachi's presentation begins at, began at 12. This time machine can't physically move. Meaning? No matter what time we travel to, we'll always arrive at the exact same coordinates. In other words, on the roof of Vatican. I mean, it's a little more complicated than that, but there's no time to explain. Anyway, we could leave to the day before the presentation, but if we attract too much attention, we could close Vatican and cancel the presentation. That's why we've got to cut it close. I see. Uncle. This is your first time tra this is your first time time traveling, right? Okay, first stop calling me uncle. And yes, I've made more time leaps than I want to remember. But I've never time traveled before. According to John Titer, the G forces are pretty strong. You feel like you're being stretched out. Yeah, I wrote that. The John Titer stuff. Right, back when I left in 2000. I see. The past has changed. Changed back, I suppose, from my point of view. 
You don't sound surprised. So much information has entered my head in the past several minutes that it feels like my brain's about to explode. Go over the mission one more time. Once we arrive, there'll be no time for chit chat. The objective is to prevent Marcus Akurisu's death. What about attractive field convergence? That day is a turning point, remember? You need a probability of Marcus Akurisu's death is roughly 50%. So convergence won't happen. It may happen, it may not. No, it probably will. And I'm sure there's a loophole somewhere. That loophole is the doorway to Stein's Gate. So in the end, to gamble. Oh, I said that. And oh, one more thing. Watch out for Dr. Nagabachi. What do you mean? Remember what I said about World War III? It all started because of something called the Nagabachi paper. The paper not Dr. Nagabachi wrote detailing his theory of time travel. That fraud's theory was just a rip-off of John's Titus. Wait a minute, John Titus sitting right in front of me. So what Titus posted on the internet was true? I mixed in some lies, so not many people listened to me at the time. I never thought someone would be evaluated 10 years later. Looks like he built his theory off of what I wrote. Apparently it's almost perfect. Anyway, Dr. Nakabachi was there when Marcus Ekurisu was killed, right? So watch out for him. I'm sure he's important to the divergence of this world line. Dr. Nakabachi important? I thought he was just some con artist. Ready to go? Fasten your seatbelt. Does it shake a lot? Shake? No, it doesn't shake. I mean, it does something else? It's only three weeks, so it shouldn't take more than two or three minutes. Hi, Athena! I'm doing okay, I guess, so far. Uh, you've missed quite a bit since you last stopped by. We are going for the two ending right now, so we are on chapter 11. So we have experienced every ending but the two ending, and we're going through it right now, and I do not know what to expect. When I first left in 1975, it was six long hours with nothing to do. No. Hey, for argument's sake, Most what happens if we fail to save Kurisu? Kurisu. There's not much fuel left. They only have enough to begin with. It's not even enough for a return trip to 2036. So if we fail to change the world line, we'll now be stuck in this time. Don't worry. We have enough for two short round trips like this. What she's really saying is that we only have two chances. But then how do you plan to get back to 2036? I don't. Once we reach Steins Gate, I don't have any reason to come to this time in the first place, will I? Ca causality will be reconstructed. I should dis disappear from this time since I'll probably be living peacefully in 2036. But all that depends on you, Uncle Okarin. It's the first time in weeks that we've spoken, but I just now realized something about her. Suzuha is pretty reckless, isn't she? <laughs> Suddenly, there's a zapping sound, and countless faint silver lights start floating around the cylinder. They look like moth dust, or powdered snow. The lights slowly change colors. We're here. <laughs> Did I really just travel through time? The day it all began. Keep an eye on Marcus Ekurisu and stop whoever tries to kill her. And you? I'll back you up. But she still dies, so what's gonna happen? So remember how I took away your phone? The year of July 28th is here too, meaning there are currently two Okabe Vent Towers in this world. Whatever you do, don't let your past self see you. It could cause a major time paradox. Taito said that couldn't happen. That was a lie. Misinformation. Got it. Then let's go. We'll rendezvous at the time machine when it's over. Any minute now, my past self should be running up to the roof. I need to hide before I get here.
That was a close one. I nearly bumped into myself on the 8th floor. To be safe, I descended to the 4th floor before stopping to take a breath. I wonder what Tizaha is doing. I'm worried, but I need to focus on my own mission. Let's prevent Kudisu's death. I know what happens. It's the 8th floor storage room. Toward the back of the building where people have had to go. What I don't know is who stabbed her. Instead of running around and drawing attention to myself, I should just wait at the scene. Trying to recall each person's exact moves while simultaneously trying not to be seen is harder than I imagined. Excuse me. Um, do I know you? No. Came down for the roof just now, didn't you? Thought I would never see her again. I thought I would never hear her voice again. But now... Now before my very eyes is the girl I love. Tears well up in my eyes. Want to embrace her right this instant. Takes everything I have to resist the urge. Don't forget, this is our first meeting. This Kirisu doesn't know me. Got a strange sound from the roof. Now why the building shook just now? What's going on? Not about not Dr. Nakabachi's doing, is it? Why did I have to run a Kurisu of all people? I can't answer. I'm afraid that if I speak, I'll be unable to contain my emotions. When we hacked into Sin that day, the memory of her last smile has been into my mind, imploring me to act. Are you listening? You're sweating like crazy. What would happen if I were to grab Kurisu and run? Everything I did to try to save Mayuri ended in vain. I was unable to save her even once. No matter what I did, the word itself killed her. Should I even try? Hey! Time Machine Study of Creation. Kurisu jumped back, spilling her documents all over the floor. Doubt that she would follow some shady stranger like me anyway. Running isn't an option. All I can do is wait at the scene of the crime. Fighting against the urge to stay, I force myself to turn and leave. Please answer my question! She's so desperate to know who I am. Answer me! Can I... Can I really save you? Your words catch my throat. All I know is that convergence is merciless and cruel, and that I am powerless to stop it. Can you... What? <laughs> Wait, stop! <laughs> when we make it back to the 8th floor, the presentation has already started. Who the hell am I?! Someone who knows you for far, that's who. Someone throw that man out. Confirming that Kurisu entered the conference room to try and stop me, I turned around and head deeper into the dim passage. An image of Kurisu lying there in this room in a puddle of blood flashes through my mind. Twenty minutes from now, that's exactly what would happen. I prevent it. A bunch of cardboard boxes stacked in the back of the room, the perfect hiding spot. All I have to do is wait for Kadisi to show. Only now do I realize that I'm completely unarmed. I really didn't think this through. Is there anything around here that might work as a weapon? Or one wrong move and someone might catch me. I shouldn't leave this spot. Twenty minutes later. <sighs> the longer I wait in the darkness, the harder it becomes. The anticipation is killing me. So far, not a single soul has passed down this hallway. I peek out from behind the boxes, and just then, 
I hear footsteps approaching. Who is it? Kirisi's murder? <sighs> Didn't expect Kirisi to be the first to appear. What's she doing back here anyway? The evidence for employees only. When I think about it, Kirisi's murder made no sense. Why was she killed in a place she would normally never come? Kirisi leaned against the wall next to the entrance. Exactly all those documents you dropped earlier. She had them when I discovered her body? Kirisi hasn't moved a muscle. Is she waiting for someone? What's she mean in a place like this? It's when I hear another set of footsteps approaching. Can't see who it is from where I'm hiding. Who is it? I wanted to talk. The newcomer finally appears in my narrow field of vision. And it's... <sighs> Dr. Nakabachi! Ah, oh, one more thing. Watch out for Dr. Nakabachi. Why would Kurisu, an accomplished scientist, attend a presentation of a man like Nakabachi? She's just a two bit inventor. Only 15 people came to hear him speak, and that's including trolls like me. There wasn't even any press coverage. Besides, Kurisu hates time travel science. It doesn't make sense that Kurisu would be here to listen to Nakabachi's presentation. But why? <sighs> it makes sense. It fucking makes sense now. Fucking hell. I did not see this coming. Are you listening, Papa? Papa. Kurisu's father, who she's had such a fraught relationship with. A father that supposedly lives in Aimori and hasn't contacted her for seven years. Kurisu did say that her father was a physicist. And Nakabachi certainly is a physicist, though the scientific community at large has rejected his research. But wait. Does this mean that Nakabachi killed Kurisu? Was it someone else? Someone who has yet to appear? There's no way to know. I could be sure that Nakabachi was a killer, then I could, would intervene right now. What is that? I heard you were giving a presentation on time travel. I thought about it too. Could it, could it be possible to make a time machine? Could he still write a paper on time travel? But when she spoke at ATF, she rejected the very idea of time travel. Although, come to think of it, she was awfully interested in the phone wave. I like your opinion, Papa. We can, pu publish, we can polish it together and submit it to the scientific community. I don't know if they'll listen, but just in case, I do have acquaintances at Science Magazine. <clears throat> Could that be the Nagabachi paper? The cause of World War Three? The origin of the time machine? It started with a race between the EU and Russia, then America got involved, and things really went to hell. She doesn't mention Japan. Is that why we need to save Kurisu? Nothing is coincidence, everything is inevitable. Nagabachi flips restlessly through the document. It goes through it so fast, it looks like he hardly even skimmed it. Did I ask you to write this? Well, no, but... You invited me to come, remember? It was the first time we talked in seven years. That's what got me thinking. And as I worked on a thesis, I started to realize it might actually be possible to build a time machine. If the thesis is published, you could have your revenge on the scientific community for shunning you. I wasn't shunned! Those innocent, those incompetent bastards were just jealous of my superiority. It was the one who, I was the one who gave up on them! Please don't yell. You read really fast, Papa. Just like I remember. Not bad. You think so? You can submit it jointly, if you like. I don't mind. No, don't do anything. I'll take care of it. What do you mean? 
What do I mean? We don't think you're special just because you got your plebeian thesis published in some magazine. Plebeian? Plebeian? What, is that how you look at your father? I'm sorry. An awkward silence follows. I feel no warmth between these two. The only thing I fear is distance. Felicia in particular seems desperate to avoid upsetting her father. Um, we haven't seen each other in a while. There's a lot I want to talk about. You're living in Aomori now, right? Remember how she said she had trouble dealing with her father? I think my father hates me. Leave. Go back to America. Never show me your face. Again. But... You want my opinion? Was submitted jointly? You don't mean any of that. I know how you think. Is this pity? How dare you? You're supposed to be my daughter! I don't understand. Please come. I am calm. Don't tell me what to do. This is bad. Is Nakabachi really the culprit? Her own father? I'll tell you why I called you here today. I wanted to show you my research. Research beyond even what you can imagine. I wanted to prove once and for all that you are nothing compared to me. But that brat in the lab could ruin everything. No, you were laughing at me too. Don't you deny it. How dare you treat your own father this way? I wasn't... You want my opinion on this thesis? Fine, I'll give it to you. I'm going to publish it myself. End of discussion. Yeah, stealing it, Papa? What did you say? You're stealing my work? I didn't think even you would do something like... <laughs> Screwdriver. Why did that pop up? What do I do? Who do you think you're talking to? Go back real quick. Okay, I don't know where this is going and I'm scared. Here we go. You can't possibly understand how I feel. Why did you have to be so talented? I detest you. I hate your very existence. Nobody is allowed to be better than me, understand? Nobody! Especially not my own daughter. That's why I sent you away. I couldn't bear the shame of being your father. It's all your fault. It's all your fault! It's completely absurd. He's blaming her for his own failures. It's clear that he's the killer. Stop! Oh, I said that. Stop! Who the hell are you? I won't let you kill Kurisu! Going to save Kurisu. Going to save her and change the future. The memory of Kurisu's body flashes through my mind. No, it won't turn out like that! You! You're the brat who ruined my presentation! Right, of course. I caught him out on his lies in the middle of his presentation. Nagabachi is mistaking me for my past self. Understandable, since we look exactly the same. How dare you show your face before me! Why does everyone get in my way? I know. You and Kurisu planned this, didn't you? Didn't you? Rats won't get away with this. 
but then I see it glint in the dim light. Why is he even carrying something like that? Is he completely insane? Wait, is that the weapon that killed Kurisu? I won't let that happen! Damn! Why is my brain so fixated on that scene? You're prey for mocking me! He's going to kill me! Oh no, she's gonna save him, isn't she? No, don't be afraid! I can't die here! The past is already decided! But if the past is decided, I can't save Kurisu! Apologize! Is she gonna kill her father? Stop it, Papa! Oh no. Tell me what to do! I knew that screwdriver flailing there was gonna be something. No, oh, Kurisu, stay away from him! You're the one in danger, not me! That's when I thought I disarmed him. He finds something else. Run, Kurisu! There's crazy Papa, please stop! What do you know? What do you know? If only you'd never been born! He's going to die, I have to do something. Kurisu won't die if I kill Nagabachi first. That image again! Stop getting in my way! I won't be tied to that past! You need to do this, change the future to save Kurisu! No! That's why! <laughs> I stabbed. No. Why? No. Why? <laughs> Fitting in for you fools. <laughs> Is this a joke? Is this the punchline? I wanted to know who killed Kurisu. And now. I'm sorry. Kurisu speaks, her voice is barely a whisper. I feel something wet in my hands. Wet and warm. Blood. Kurisu's blood. <laughs> His body convulses against mine. The pain must be unbearable. There's nothing I can do to help her. I want to cry. Don't. Why? Because... <laughs> He's still my father. I just wanted him to accept me. I studied so hard, hoping he would praise me. But now, I finally understand. Papa. They didn't want to accept me. I'm such an idiot. Why did I save him? I wonder. I'm sorry for getting you involved. That's my point to die. I don't want to die. I don't want it to end like this. Don't die. Please don't die on me. Help me. Help. I killed her. I killed her. Uncle Kenin! Come on, get up! 
And I feel my hands pulse through of Caduceus' chest. Fresh torrent of blood flows out. Still warm. Please. Open your eyes, Caduceus. Wake up. Put yourself together! We need to get out of here before they find us. Sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. I tried to save you. I did. Why is this happening? I killed Kurisu. Twice. Yeah. Get out of here. Don't give up yet, Uncle. Everything's gonna be fine, I promise. Now hold on tight. I failed to save Kurisu. Worse. Convergence made me kill her. The past has already been decided. It's impossible to change it from the start. Oh, you're already back. It hasn't even been a minute. Please, don't talk to me. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Governor Blood, what happened? Are you okay? Hang in there. Don't die. He's okay. It's not his blood. Save Kurisu. What a joke. Not only did I fail to save her, I took her life with my own two hands. Three weeks ago, in this very spot. I killed her. I murdered her. There's no way to save her. There never was. <laughs> Everything. It's already been decided. It's the same as it was with Mayuri. The same. No matter how hard I struggle. The results will always be the same. We have a time machine. Shouldn't we give it another try? No, it's not that simple. No matter how many times I try, the result will converge in Kurisu's death. Even if I throw the knife away, fate will find some other way to kill Kurisu. Maybe Nagabachi will kill her. Maybe I'll trip and push her down the stairs. The cause doesn't matter. The effect will always be the same. Doesn't matter if I time leap or if I time travel. Going to the past can't change the result. Useless. Everything is useless. There's nothing I can do. Nothing. Nothing. Can't save Kurisu after all. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this would happen. I knew it would turn out like this. I can't take this anymore. I'm so tired. Enough already. I give up. What? She's never done anything like this before. The shock is enough to bring me to my senses. Okarin, oh, you're not a quitter. My she knows. You never ever give up. Not until the very end. Remember? Every day, Mayushi prayed for help in front of the granny's grave. And every day, you came to see me. Even on rainy days and snowy days, you always stood next to Mayushi and called my name. Because you were always there for Mayushi. 
was finally able to say goodbye to Granny. But she doesn't really understand what's going on. But don't give up now. Okay? Why she doesn't want to see you sad? But I killed her. The person most precious to me. The person I wanted to protect. I killed her! I can still feel the knife in my hand. I can still feel her fading heartbeat. Desperation is tearing my soul apart. Guilt is crushing my heart. But I realize that this is retribution. My just punishment for taking the godlike power of time travel and using it to distort the past. I shouldn't have tried to play God. Kurisu can't be saved. Not even with my Yuri's encouragement. There's nothing I can do. You're wrong. You got me, Okari. I don't have the energy to check my mail, but for some reason, Susan had gestures for me to look at it. What? Turn on the TV. The sender is unfamiliar. I'm bewildered. I don't know who sent this. And it takes my breath away. Data was sent. August 21st, 2025. 2025. No. Is this... A D-mail? But he doesn't remember it. Actually came through. Just like he said it would. Susan had left from 2036. It's 11 years after this T-mail was sent. Does that mean it's not related to her? What does it mean? There's something on. It's something you need to see. Russian authorities announced today that a fire broke out on Russian Airlines Flight 801 en route from Narito, Narita to Moscow. The flight departed Narita Airport at 11.05 Japan time, but a fire broke out in the cargo hold shortly after before arrival. The flight made an emergency landing at Domodedovo International Airport where the passengers were evacuated. No one was injured. One of the passengers on Flight 801 was a Japanese physicist who had declared his intention to seek asylum in Russia. Dr. Nakabachi! Dr. Nakabachi, Rune Makase Soichi, made these comments to the press earlier today. Rune Makase Soichi. Why do you share? Well, I don't know if you shared, but you almost share a name with Soichi. Nakabachi sought asylum in Russia? I don't think people still did that in this day and age. I mean, all you need is a passport to travel to Russia. I'm delighted to have arrived safely in this wonderful country. My deepest gratitude to the Russian government for accepting me. When the cabin filled with smoke, I remained perfectly calm. Some passengers panicked, but they settled down after I gave them a talking to. My compliments to the pilot for his safe landing. He's a hero, for he had saved not only my life, but my historic thesis as well. If this thesis had been lost, it would have set scientific progress back a century. This thesis would change the course of human history. This thesis describes the first practical theory of time travel. Do you understand? Time travel. I, Dr. Nakabachi, have succeeded where countless others have failed. This envelope, this envelope contains the future of mankind. Soon all of our dreams shall be realized. When I present this thesis to the scientific community, the world will change forever, and I will be known as the father of the time machine. I have no right to condemn Nakabachi for his actions, not when it was my hand that took Kurisu's life. Still in my walk? I didn't think even you would do something like... Dead men tell no tales, is that it? Originally, this envelope was in my checked baggage. If it had stayed there, then it would have burned up in the cargo hold, and humanity's dreams along with it. However, fate intervened on my behalf, as if God himself had decreed that my greatness should be known across the world. 
Behold the vessel of God's grace. Because this was inside the envelope. It set off the metal detector. Hey Mecca, no worries dude. We're on the final true ending. So much has happened. I wanted to stream early because I have work at 4 o'clock. If I didn't stream today, I wouldn't have been able to stream for like a good 3 days. So I needed to get up early so I can finish this game. <laughs> but how are you doing man? Hope you're doing well. Because this was inside the envelope, it set off the metal detector. As a result, I had to take the envelope with me on the plane. The pilot is a hero, yes, but the true hero, the savior of humanity's future, is this tiny figurine. <laughs> what are you <laughs> That's my meta Upa! Look! See there! It has my Yushi's name on it! Well, you're right! What's he doing with it? I dropped it during the presentation. I looked everywhere but couldn't find it. So that's where it went. You can't get it back if it's all the way in Russia. The butterfly effect. Three weeks ago, Mayuri dropped a little toy in the assembly hall of Vatican. That tiny figure, a mere child's toy, went on to decide the fate of mankind. It rescued the Nagabachi paper from the fire. And in so doing, it laid the foundation for World War III. Suzuha, did you know about this? <laughs> Who sent that email from 2025? Whoever was clearly meant for us to see the news about Dr. Nagabachi. Sorry. Sorry about what? Sorry for not telling you everything. But we needed you to fail once. You had to experience Makise Kurisu's death firsthand. You tricked me? Not exactly. It was part of the plan. At least, that's what I was told. Told by whom? Sorry for making you go through that, Uncle. Tell me what's going on. See for yourself. Then you understand. What are you talking about? The message should already be in your phone. The message you sent from 2025. Huh? What? A video mail. You received one. Didn't you? <gasps> She's right. July 28th. Right after I met Kurisu for the first time. Just as I was about to contact Mayuri, I received a mysterious video mail. From an address I'd never seen before. But there was nothing on it. Just noise. Try again. If you try now, after failing once to save Makise Kurisu's life, you should be able to see it. Are you kidding me? Is that even possible? I'm not convinced, but I checked my phone anyway just to be sure. And there I find a saved video mail. 15 years, 2025. The year I die, according to Suzuha. Sent this message to, on the eve of my death. A message to myself in 2010. Susan has said that there was a plan to reach Steins Gate. Could that plan be in this video? <laughs> that you in 15 years? <laughs> Has to be. Something about him just says, Okarin. Is the guy really me? Did you get my email? And go watch the news. You already have. And keep listening. The last mail was from him. From me. Greetings. It's been 15 years, I suppose you could say. <laughs> wow, your voice is so deep and cool. <laughs> A 
year is 2025. I'm sending this video by a process similar to Dmail. You dismantled the phone wave. So did I. But not one year later, I, which is to say you, turned back to time travel as my last hope. I spent 14 years researching time travel. Along the way, I managed to design a Dmail transmitter that wasn't bound by the 36 byte limit. The fact that you're watching this means that you failed to save Kurisu. It hurts, doesn't it? I know how you feel. After all, I went through it myself 15 years ago. That's right. I failed too. I lived with that failure for 15 years. You understand why you had to fail. It was necessary. Necessary to give me the proper motivation. You failed to save Kurisu. You killed her with your own two hands. Your guilt, your self-loathing, have driven me for 15 years. They gave me the focus I needed to complete my plan. Without your failure, you would not be watching this message now. As you know, this world line is subjected to attractive field convergence. That time travel alone cannot save Kurisu. That is why you had to fail, to create the chain of causality that linked you to me. Because you failed, I spent the last 15 years researching time travel. As the revelations Nagabachi unleashed sped the war towards nuclear war, I continued my research in secret. Suzuha's time machine is the result. Although the finishing touches were daughters and mine, its design was based on the theory that CERN first developed, and that Kurisu improved on the world line Yuan did. Smaller number C204, C for Castina. I believe you understand what that signifies. Now that the casual link has been established, allow me to explain the final stage of the plan. The purpose of this plan is to change divergence and reach the unknown world line called Stein's Gate. By the way, I'm the one who named it Stein's Gate. You of all people know why I chose that name. Because it sounds cool. Isn't that right? There are two conditions you must meet to reach Stein's Gate. First, you must save Magusei Kurisu. Second, you must destroy the Nakabachi trade paper. I know what you're thinking. Convergence won't let you change the past. No matter what you do, Kurisu will die. But rest assured, there is a way. You can save Kurisu. Listen carefully. On July 28th, at first when you went to Nakabachi's presentation, blissfully unaware of what was about to happen. You must not change what you saw first. Those events have been established. They are the result upon which this world line converges. However, there is room for deception. You don't understand, I know. Calm down, I'll explain. You're going to deceive yourself. The first you saw Kurisu lying in a pool of blood. If you were to change that fact, it would render everything that you have done since, as well as everything that I have done, a paradox. So we have to fake Kurisu's death, is that what I'm saying? God damn it, don't look, don't, don't, don't disconnect on me. <laughs> After finding Kurisu's body, you sent a D-mail, which was intercepted by Etgalon, which tipped off Sun. The call you experienced on the Alpha world line. You saw more than just Mayuri's death. You saw Kurisu alive and well. You made her a lab member despite her protest, and together you built the time room machine. It was only three weeks, but she was there, beside you. Those memories are yours. Those memories are mine. They are the proof that we did not live only on this world line, but Kurisu died on July 28th. You traveled to the Alpha world line. You met Kurisu and fell in love. You sacrificed the dreams of those closest to you. But still, you fought to give Mayuri a future. For three weeks you fought, and now those memories are a part of you. If you had not seen Kurisu's body, you would not have sent that first email. Cern would not have found you. When you encountered Kurisu later, you would not have been shocked to see her alive. You would not have spoken the words that led her to your doorstep. Without those memories, you would not now be willing to travel through time to save her. 
I would not have spent my life searching for a path to sign skate. I would not have recorded this message. Dario and I would not have completed the time machine. Suzuha would not be standing beside you now. You must not reject the three weeks you spent drifting between world lines. You must not undo the past! Those three weeks made you who you are. A man who would do anything to save the woman he loves. Your desperation made me who I am. A man who has given everything to make that dream come true. This moment would not be possible if not for the memories that you and I share. That man you were trying to create, a man with none of those memories to drive him, would never stand where you'll stand now. It all meant something. My preparations are complete. The rest is up to you. The final phase of Operation Scold will now commence. Order. The youngest of the three Norns in Norse mythology, the three sisters tend to war tree, Yggdrasil, which has roots in its fountain. Skuld is the Norn of the future, also Valkyrie. Your mission, change the outcome, without changing established events. You saw Makase Kurisu lying in a pool of blood. That has been established. But at the same time, only that has been established. Deceive yourself. Deceive the word. That is the choice which will lead you to Stein's Gate. Good luck, mad scientist. Muhahaha. El Sai. And with that, the video ends. My Yuri and daughter looked dumbfounded. They obviously didn't understand a single word. I, however. <laughs> Operation scored. As Sai Kangru. I'm 33 years old and I still have no shame. <laughs> deceive myself, deceive the world. That's such shuny bullshit. But that sort of thinking isn't half bad. Very well. If this is the choice of Stein's Gate, then so be it. I am the insane mad scientist. Poor and Kyoma! Deceiving the world is triumph's play! It looks like I have to change the world after all. Whoa, I thought Okuni was finally turning serious, but now he's back to his usual antics. But you know, Mayushi likes Okuni better this way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okarin isn't just Okarin unless he's laughing like an idiot. Oh, and Kiyoma saved my Yushi, you know. So this time, he'll definitely save Makase Kurisu. But deceive the word? What's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, my Yushi doesn't have a clue. Music stopped, wow. <laughs> well, I feel like we're gonna be like, oh. Right. <laughs> isn't it obvious? The only established fact about the past is that I saw Kurisu lying in a pool of blood. That's the extent of my observation. Kurisu was lying in a pool of blood. As for whether she was alive or dead, that's still open to interpretation. Isn't that right, future me? For example, just think of it like this. Kurisu was merely unconscious and the blood was just a coat of red paint. Oh, is that what happened? Wait a second, the news reports all said that she was... What's true now doesn't matter. Only what Uncle, Uncle Okari saw on July 28th matters. Really? 
Really, and that's because I'm not the Okabe Ventel who lived on the Beta World Line after Kudisu died. I'm traveled to the Alpha World Line and back. I am not bound by whatever effect Kudisu's death may have had during that time. What I'm going to do is recreate what I saw, and only what I saw. But this time, I'll do it so Kurisu doesn't have to die. I like this remix of the main thing. Don't forget, you also need to destroy the Nakabachi paper. Can you handle it? Who do you think you're talking to, part-time warrior? Part-time warrior? Have you forgotten? I am the mad scientist, Hor and Kyoma. Oh, I just cut him off, sorry. My plan is flawless. Operation Scored will succeed. To refresh my memory, I pull out the drawers of my mental archive and sort through each file one by one. My actions that day, my early actions, my conversation with Kurisu, and Nakabachi's presentation. And with those memories to guide me, I begin to draw up a plan for how to complete my mission. Based on how my previous attempts went, I should probably take something to protect myself. You'll see. Then it's time. I see a plastic stick about 30 centimeters long. What's that? One of our lab's many inventions. Future gadget number six. The Sayulum Saber. Sayulum Saber? <laughs> it's a red Sayulum glow stick. An essential item for idol and voice actors concerts. But it's not just a glow stick, it's saber shaped, just as its name applies. So you can, okay, saber shaped, so just as its name applies. So you can reenact scenes from Spark Wars. Spark Wars, is that what it's called in this universe? Wow. Furthermore, it can also form thick blood clots. Attach the cap at the tip, and thick blood starts flowing out. I, uh, really don't get what you're trying to accomplish when you made this. <laughs> you wanted to make our sword fights more realistic. What he means to say is that everything is inevitable. I think I see the plan. You're gonna use that asylum stuff as a stand for Mark Sikadisi's blood, aren't you? Precisely. I truly am a mad scientist. Moo! <laughs> I can't do the laugh, but this, my preparations are complete! Let's go, Uncle Okarin. One more time. One more trip to July 28th. There and back, that's all the fuel we have left. This is our last chance. You ready? Leave it to me. I will. Change the world. Well, we returned to July 28th. I had to confirm something with Suzuha. Was there a chance that I might run into myself from last time, the me who killed Kurisu? She replied that it wasn't possible. The world line where I killed Kurisu is minutely different from the one to which the time machine will take us. However, it is important to remember that world lines are not parallel worlds. My actions are not meaningless. If I succeed in deceiving both myself and the world, the entire universe will converge and find a different future. Come back, okay? Of course. And close the hatches, Dado and Mayuri see me off with words of encouragement. The fate of the future hangs on this mission. We're counting on you, Uncle. <laughs> I find myself strangely calm. No impatience, no tension. None of the anxiety I felt the first time. And even though those mistakes have been undone, the memory still remains as a brain in my heart. You must not reject the three weeks you spent drifting between world lines. You must not undo the past. 
Now I meant something. Every mistake. Every sacrifice. From that knowledge, I draw strength, confidence, and pride. Memories are shorter to serve nothing less. And so, I am no longer afraid. I will reach it no matter what. The unknown world line, Stein's Gate. Particles begin to drift through the compartment. It's time. This is my Ragnarok. This is the third time I've been here now. I run through the plan in my head one last time. Time is short, but I have no choice. I have to do it. No. I will do it. Failure is not an option. I can't forget that. I wait for Suzuha to break the lock, and I sneak inside just like last time. Nearly avoiding the first me again, I descend to the seventh floor. Last time I went all the way down to the fourth floor, but not this time. I just look at the capsule toy machine. It's time for step one. Ryanet Access Battler's Uber Collection. This is it. On July 28th, the first me won a super rare meta Uber from this very machine. No time to waste. I insert the 100 yen coin I prepared beforehand and turn the lever hard. The capsule falls into the slot. Just as I grab it, I hear footsteps and try to get out of sight. Look! Find it! Luckily, she's so entranced by the capsule toy machine that she didn't recognize me as I passed by her. It's the prize that was meant for me. Means the first me will get. The answer is obvious. <laughs> hey, you just came down from the. I. I'm going to save you. What? Say no more. If I tell her everything, she'll have no reason to talk to the first me. On July 28th, she came to me during Nagabachi's presentation. She claimed that I had tried to tell her something. They proceeded to drag me out in the hallway for further questioning. That's part of my experience. It should be enough to ensure that it happens exactly as I remember. Uh, Wait! Thank you all for coming to Nagabachi's Time Machine Press Conference! First me heads up to the 8th floor. When Mayuri doesn't move, she takes out a pen and starts signing the Upa. It's as planned. When Dr. Nakabachi defected to Russia on August 21st, he had Mayuri's Meta Upa with him. If he has a plastic one instead, it should change the fate of the Nakabachi paper. But one question remains. How exactly did Mayuri's Upa fall into Dr. Nakabachi's hands? Once as Mayuri finishes signing her name, she nods in satisfaction, then runs after the first me. She puts the Upa into her coat pocket, but doesn't go in all the way. And it falls out. Mayuri is completely oblivious. A moment later, she disappears from sight. The Upa goes rolling down to the 8th floor. Does Nakabachi pick it up? It's my... it's... <laughs> it's Makuse! I hear someone coming up from below, and I quickly hide behind the stairs on the 7th floor landing. It was Kurisu. Suddenly, I'm grateful for the stairwell's weird design. She definitely would have spotted me otherwise. Kurisu, unaware of my presence, picks the Upa off the floor. But it was Kurisu who found the Upa. The butterfly effect. In three weeks, the completely innocuous event changes the outcome of an accidental fire on one of what must be thousands of planes flying that day. By extension, it changes the fate of the entire human race. Kurisu looks curiously at the Upa and looks around as if searching for the owner. Of course, Kurisu doesn't know who Mayuri is. At this point in time, those two aren't even acquainted yet. After realizing she does no one around, Kurisu puts the Upa into her envelope and goes up to the 8th floor. Now that I've seen what I need to see, I go upstairs too and head to the employee hallway. Here's where it gets serious. 
Stop dying on me! It's not dying, it's just disconnecting. I close my eyes and wait for the first time to come, hidden behind the same pile of cardboard boxes as last time. I hear the sound of sparse applause from the event hall, which means I should be hearing footsteps soon. There they are. Kurisu has come right on time. Once Nagabachi appears, that's my signal to swing into action. I'll bring out the Sagnolum Saber as soon as that bastard tries to take out his knife. And I'll scare him away and stun Kurisu. The stun gun I bought should handle both tasks flawlessly. That's the plan, at least. The next set of footsteps that goes down the hallway. I can't see Nakabachi, but I know it's him. I wanted to talk. Are you listening, Papa? Even the words she speaks are the same. What is that? I heard you were giving a presentation on time travel. So I thought about it too. Would it be possible to make a time machine? The atmosphere is far from pleasant. Nakabachi doesn't even try to hide his displeasure. And the first time is probably at fault for that. The first me is probably at fault for that, at least partially. So it's about time for Nagabachi to go ballistic. I grip this Sayulum saber and went make one final check. So that he dimmed out. All I'll have to do is remove the cap at the tip and the fake blood will. In the darkness of my hiding spot, I bring the Sayulum saber close to my eyes and peer inside. No, this shouldn't happen. I was certain the liquid would remain fluid for around 30 minutes after losing luminescence. Was it defective? How could I have failed to consider this possibility? If I had half a brain, it would have brought the spare! Damn, I didn't account for this. The simulation I run in my head is crumbling apart. I wasn't shunned! Those incompetent bastards were just jealous of my superiority! I was the one who gave up on them! Please don't yell. Time won't stop for me. How do I recover from this setback? Do I go back to the time machine and try again? No, remember what Tuza has said. This is my last chance. We haven't seen each other in a while. There's a lot I want to talk about. You live in the Naimori now, right? Leave. Go back to America. Never show your face to me again. But... You want my opinion? Will I submit it jointly? You don't mean any of that. I know how you think. My heart is pounding, sweating like crazy. Feels like I've just run a marathon. It's just pity. How dare you! You're supposed to be my daughter! I don't understand. Please calm. I am calm. Don't tell me what to do. I'm diving headfirst into tragedy. Time, I beg you, please stop moving. I heard the briefest of prayers. Are you praying, Kyo and Koma? Have you forgotten? I'll tell you why I called you here today. I wanted to show my research. Research beyond even what you can imagine. I wanted to prove once and for all that you are nothing compared to me. Change the future. Deceive the world. But that brat in the lab coat ruined everything. I know you were laughing at me too. Don't you deny it. How dare you treat your own father this way. I wasn't... You want my opinion? Fine. I'll give it to you. I'm going to publish it myself. End of discussion. I won't court the memory of a heartless god. I will save Kurisu myself. She won't die again. Yeah. Stealing it? 
What did you say? Stealing my walk. I didn't think even you would do something like... <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Starting! There's still a way to prevent Kudis' death! That put of blood I saw, I saw beneath Kudis' body. There's one more way to reproduce it. One last gamble to turn convergence on its head. You can't possibly understand how I feel! Why do you have to be so talented? I detest you! I hate your very existence! Nobody is allowed to be better than me, you understand? Nobody! Especially not my own daughter! That's why I abandoned you! I couldn't bear the shame of being your father! It's all your fault! It's all your fault! I'm Hoen Kyoma, the mad scientist who defies God. My true desire is chaos. I have no need for a predetermined future. Yose! Stop! Calmly, I step out from my hiding spot. Look at that face. You! You're the brat who ruined my presentation! Ubacho lets go of Kurisu. How dare you show your face before me? Why does everyone get in my way? I know. You and Kurisu planned this, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> the mood is tense. My hair looks great. I thank you. Sorry. I know you're talking, not talking about my... I was just like, yeah. I, I read the text so much that I'm like, my hair is great. I'm like, oh, it's me. No, I'm kidding. Um, but thank you for the 100 bits, Scholar Debbie. It's really appreciated. And I hope your hair does look great. You brats won't get away with this! Try it, if you dare. You. Who are you? My name is Hoen Kiyoma. What? Hoen? Ho for Phoenix. Then in. And finally. The tale of the truth that must never be revered. Ho and Kyoma. I am the bringer of chaos, the destroyer of order. I, I am the one who will end your ambition. Run away! Never! What's wrong, Dr. Nagabachi? Aren't you going to kill me? Or have you lost your nerve? Of course, a mere mortal can never slay a god such as I. <laughs> you little... No, Papa, stop! If you won't stop... You can't kill me, you're nothing! Die! This is my last chance. I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> he stabbed me with the knife that killed Kurisu. Pain flares. Feels like my insides are being torn out. Blood gushes from the open wound. Pain threatens to steal away my consciousness. I struggle desperately to stay on my feet. Now who's laughing? <laughs> That's what you get for mocking me! Now you've done it! You regret this old man. Going to kill you. <laughs> you and the grill. I'll kill you both. Don't move. I down. I'll call an ambulance. Was she worried about my injury? Didn't she hear me threaten to kill her? You're too soft hearted for a Sundare. Back when I was trying to save my Yuri, you were always the one who saved me, so this time... Oh my God. 
going to save you. <gasps> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I sent her my silent apology. I'll be sure to have my way with your daughter before I kill her. But first is you, Nakabachi. <laughs> Nakabachi ran screaming towards the elevators. First, he makes sure to pick up the envelope Kadisi dropped. How shrewd of him. I look at my wound. Still, not enough. Ah! Can't stop now! Fighting against the urge to faint, I feed strength into my hands and pour the wound out wider. <laughs> my blood paints the floor crimson. <laughs> Uncle Okarin! That wound! What happened? What were you thinking? You die if we fail. <laughs> Uncle, forget who you're dealing with, Suza. Look at the floor. Notice anything? The floor. <laughs> that should be enough blood, don't you think? Full of blood. To deceive myself, to deceive the world. The stage is set. Uncle, you'll die! But there's no way I'm going to die. Who do you think I am? I am the insane mad scientist. Oh, in Kiyoma. Uncle. I get stabbed instead of Kurisu. I create the puddle of blood on the floor with my own blood. If Convergence hoards, then it's already determined that I don't die. Not here. I die in 2025. It's a fixed event on the Beta Ward line. That was my bet. There's no telling what will happen when we reach Stein's Gate. The future of that ward line is still undecided. There's no reason it can't include my death. Kalisi doesn't wake up. She's perfectly still. She's definitely breathing. Did it hurt? I'm sorry. But I had to do it. To save you. Even though those three weeks, I'll never come back. I want you to live. We'll never meet again. Please, you will never join the lab. We will never build a timely machine together. But still, I'm glad I was able to save her. Sayonara. Goodbye. Please stay unconscious for a while. I need you to deceive the first me. Mission complete. Return to base. That's crazy, I'm Uncle. Crazy. You're insane. Insane. Nonsense. This is all according to plan. <laughs> Don't talk. I'll take you back to August 21st. I didn't enjoy the G's, okay? T 
Damn, I should have fought a first aid kit. I feel pressure crush my body. My wound throbs. I feel like groaning, but I bite my lip and bear it. The time machine is activating. <laughs> hey, Uncle. <laughs> sure, Stanskid is waiting for us on the other side. A world where nothing is known. Or anything is possible. A world where you live. Where Magase Kuriso lives. Where Shina Mayuri lives. A world where I have no reason to travel to 2010. Which may still lead to World War Three. May lead to a dystopia filled by sin. But now, there is hope for the future again. Once we arrive, I'll probably disappear. I won't be able to thank you for bringing me to Stein's Gate. So I'll say it now. Thank you, Uncle. Don't die. Live. And in seven years, let's meet again, okay? It's time to go home. Mighty and Dali are waiting. And with them, a future that has yet to be written. What is going on? What is going on? I am so confused. Is that the ending? Yep. This is the true ending, guys. The true ending. Ah, oh, man. That was a trip. Oh, my God. I don't know how to react, guys. Am I fulfilled? Am I... What does Steins Gate Zero pick off from? Is it too soon to be thinking about that? Please tell me there's something after the credits. Please tell me there's something after the credits. I cannot be satisfied if there is not something after the credits. Like... I'm not confused! Everything makes sense! Everything connects! But I don't know how to feel about it! Honestly, you have missed so much, Mecha. You have missed hours of pain, hours of crying that I've done on this game. Hours of, like, making connections with these people. And now I'm supposed to accept this ending where everyone lives, but I do not know what happens in it. Please tell me there's an end credit scene. Please tell me there's, I will sit through these credits until I get that end credit scene. Please. Please, I go into work at three hours. If I have to wait three hours for an end credit scene, I will skip work so I can see the scene. <laughs> Obviously, that's a bit too much, but... This game, man. Like... Jesus. Like, oh my god. I did not expect myself to get so into this. I honestly had no idea. It was recommended to me so long ago, and I almost gave in and watched the anime. I almost gave in and played the visual novel. And instead, I waited until this version came out. Because I heard news about it, and I was like, it's coming to Switch. And I was like, I have to wait for it now. And I'm like, but what if it doesn't live up to the expectations? What if that year of me trying to get into it but not starting just went to waste? And no, that's not what happened. Anything to ending theme, another heaven. Hopefully that doesn't get copyright strike. I'm start I'm trying to talk over it so it doesn't get copyright strike, but Ooh, this guitar's good though. Oh man. I yeah. Ah! How? <laughs> Just... Mm. Science Gate Partners, animate. 
<laughs> Dr. Pepper, it says right there. So it makes me think Mandrake. Am I thinking of a Mandrake from uh, Harry Potter? Wait, what's Mandrake? <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Okay. What happens? What I need to know. Game, if you leave this open to interpretation, I don't think I can handle that. Don't leave it up to interpretation. Please, just let me know. If you end here... Mages, continue. Go forward. Show me what you have. Please. Please. Game. <sighs> yes, we have something. It has been a month since then. My wound has was deep enough to require surgery. Summer break had ended while I was stuck in the hospital. And fall was just around the corner. After being cooped up in the hospital for so long, it's exciting to be walking around Occupy again. <laughs> this is an outrage! An outrage! A fire! How can that happen? By some odd twist of fate, that man's face was displayed on the giant monitor on the side of the UPX building. My precious thesis was burned to a crisp. The future of humanity went up in flames. This is no time for an interview! I won't stand for this, Russian Airlines. I'll murder every last one of your crew members! None is not the issue, are you listening? You've burned my thesis! My thesis which would have changed human history forever! I should never have let you force hand on my suitcase. None of this would have happened if I'd just carried it with me! The subtitle read, what was your thesis about? Time travel! The invention that can grant control of all space-time, from past to present to future! It's Alpusk. <laughs> it's Alpusk continued for some time. Dr. Nagabachi, also known as Marcus A. Soichi, was detained by Russian authorities upon arrival at Domo de Devo, Domo de Devo, Domo de Dovo, in the National Airport in Moscow. Marcus A. is currently under investigation by the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department as the suspect on the July 28th stabbing of a young man. I don't think anyone's going to listen to Nagabachi now. World War III won't break out. At the very least, it won't be over the Nakabachi paper. Apparently, Kurisu reported to the police that I was stabbed. But at present, there's been no progress on the investigation, as the victim, from their point of view, up and disappeared. I heard from Dada that no one was murdered at Vatican, and I couldn't find a single report of anyone dying in that area. In the area that day, Kurisu is still alive, that much is certain, but I haven't had any contact with her since. Oh, sorry, again. I turned down the volume, so I forgot. Sorry. I stick my hand in my pocket as I walk around the city. There's a metal pin inside. Which world line Suzuha was that again? And while I was at hospitalized, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to ask Dada to have them made. The final product is slightly different from Suzuha's, but it's pretty well done. That's why those stars! Because we didn't have the other members at that point. We were eight to start, but after I got out of the hospital, I handed them out to the right for owners. The first place I visited did, Yanabayashi Shrine. You were discharged today? Oh, yeah. But, I'm sorry, I didn't know anything about it. Of course you didn't, I didn't tell you. But I'm glad you're okay. I'm, I'm so happy. Ukako made his debut as a cosplayer while I was hospitalized. He finally gave in to Mayuri's persistent nagging. He didn't make it to Kamima, but apparently after wearing one of Mayuri's costumes to a cosplay event in early September, he'd gone at his own fan club. Grown up, Lukako. Okabe-san! I mean Kiyoma-san! It's all thanks to the Seishan Zanma style you taught me. It's clear I've cleared my mind of all mundane thoughts. Lab Mem number four, number six, Urushibara Luka. I grant this on to you. 
When did I become a lab mem? It's a memory from beyond the veil of time. Your past life, I suppose you could say. My past life? You've been a lab mem from the moment you were born. Be proud. You don't like it? No, it's just... I'm really happy. <laughs> Lukago probably doesn't remember, but everything I said was true, even though I'm the only one who knows. Next, I went to May Queen. Yes? Welcome back, Miasta! Kyoma! They let you out of the hospital now? Yeah. I managed to claw my way out of hell. Precisely what I expected from the whole in bloodline. The name of that in nine phoenix and just for showing ya. Alright, we decided to open a second May Queen location, yeah? And it's right on Chiodori, yeah? Isn't that awesome, yeah? Over the past month, Ferris had started participating in Reinhardt Access Battles tournaments. Anyway, she went to have her very first official tournament and snatched a dramatic victory. Ferris is even more cheerful than usual, perhaps due in part to the opening of May Queen's second location. Oh yeah, and take this with you. Yeah. This is... I need to get this, Kiyoma. Okay, so... Okarin, Suzuha, Hashida, Makise, Kiryu... Wait. I'm thinking of... Okay, so I'm... I'm thinking of other names. So KUF are the new ones, right? Because it was Okabe. Su the last one, A, is Amani, so that's Suzuha. Um, Makase Kurisu. Is it K? No. KUF is the new ones. Man, I can't remember the names right now. <laughs> Is the F just Ferris? Where am I stay at the hospital? U is Urushibara, I know that much. And K is Kiryu, because it's Kiryu Moeka. So OSHM A is still the same. So you've overcome the test of the heart, yeah? You truly are a great man, yeah? This belongs to you, Lab Man number 7. Whenever you need my help, just hold that pin and speak the incantation, La Yoda Stasella. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. The future gadget laboratory is the help of Akiba, Mia. The visiting May Queen, I was interrupted on my way back to the lab by an unexpected sight. Kiryu? you? I had planned on visiting him anyway, but I didn't think I'd run into him so soon. Oh, Okabe. Out of the hospital already? Eh. Yeah. Oh yeah, let me introduce you. <laughs> Starting today, this girl's gonna work part-time at my place. <laughs> Doesn't talk much, but don't let it bother you. Don't worry, Shiny Finger and I know each other already. Shiny Finger? Who's that? Shining Finger! That's the name of her Esper power. He helped me look for an IBM 5100. Oh, that retro PC you were talking about. Did you find one? Moika shakes her head. Well, it's just an urban legend. Why did you decide to work here? I brought her. I introduced her to Daddy. See, so you're a matchmaker, huh? Hey, numbskull, there's only two things I love in this world. Brawn tubes and my little girl. Daddy. Besides, it was more like the other way around. After Nate fell and got hurt, this girl gave her first aid and brought her all the way back here. You know, Moeka had such a gentle side. Since she was unemployed, I decided to give her a job as thanks for helping my girl. And without I was still a higher, a part-timer. Didn't you hire one just last month? Huh? You high on your painkillers, kid? I've never had help before. 
Well, in that case, good luck to you, Moeka. Um... This pin is proof that you are lab member number 5. Why am I trying to figure out the initials? They should be by the lab member number they are. The lab is on the second floor. Come on by whenever you feel like it. Thank you for this. Yeah. The hatred I once felt towards them is gone. I forgave Moeka and Tanuji both. Now that I've sworn off time machine research, we can go back to being good neighbors. So talking to Moeka and the Tanuji as I walked up the stairs to the lab. I step into the lab for the first time in a month to find the two usual suspects waiting for me. Oh, oh Karin! Oh, Welcome back, Karin! Did you just combine welcome back and Okarin? Yep, I said it before, remember? Want some too? I'll give you one to celebrate your homecoming! Give her a grand nod and accept a crispy offering. Where did you get that microwave? We were supposed to have this assembled and thrown out the phone wave, named so you change weeks ago. Oh, oh, that was me. You bought it? Found it, duh. It was a pain to repair. Kinda hard, but it still works fine. That's our super hacker. Now let's keep up that pace and make the next future gadget. I'm asking you, Karin. I'm mad at you. Why did you leave the hospital without telling my Yushi? You went all the way to the hospital to pick you up, but the nurse said you'd already left. There's one hot nurse. I wish I was hospitalized instead of Karin. You get my guardian now, my <laughs> You suddenly come up in the wood. Have you forgotten? I'm the one who protects you. I even helped you with your diaper. <laughs> Can I move it all after the operation? So my mother and Mayuri made the great effort of coming to care for me. Especially Mayuri. Even though it was her summer break, she visited me every day. I'm grateful for this childhood friend of mine from the bottom of my heart. She's a ditch, to be sure. Seems like she always needs someone to look out for her. She's actually quite tough for her age. Got your childhood friend to change a diaper? I'm jealous, man. What emoji is that from? I'll buy you some juicy chicken number one later. Really? Thanks, Okarin. It was worth it to help you after all. <laughs> Breathe in a sigh of relief when I see my Yuri's innocent smile. But for now, my day is here, and that means everything to me. Here, take these. It's so cute! Ooh, nice, they're finally done! Gonna be sure they put this on every day, or else I won't be led into the lab. Nobody really made that rule, but whatever. But you know, there's something I've been meaning to ask you about the pin. What's that? That's an inscription, right? It says O S H M K U F A two O one O. Yep. So the first one, Okarin. Second one, is Mayuri. So Mayuri Shida. I keep on forgetting her last name. Shida. Itaru Hashida. So H. M is of course Makise Kurisu. Kiryu Moeka. Urabasa Lukako. Ferris. I'm, I'm assuming we're not using her first name. And then um, Mama Amane. Okabe. Shina. Ashida. <laughs> You're just gonna speak it out for me. And then Uri Shibara and Ferris. Got those, but what about M, K, and A? Who are they? Oh. M for Makise. K for Kiryu. A for Amani. But the current Mayuri wouldn't understand. There's three were lab members on the world line, undone and forgotten. I haven't told Mayuri a daughter about them. They wouldn't believe me even if I told them, especially about the last initial, A. I mean, how do I tell a daughter who's going to have a daughter? I remember. Once we arrive, I'll probably disappear. 
I won't be able to thank you for bringing me to Stein's cave. So I'll thank you now. Thank you, Uncle. Don't die. Live. As life she predicted, Susan had vanished the moment we turned August 21st. She was smiling as she faded away. That was proof. Proof that I had reached Stein's Gate, the unknown world line. And that's why I don't mourn Suzuha. But in seven years. In seven years. Let's meet again, okay? I know what the future will bring. Still the possibility that daughter won't get married, that Suzuha won't be born. But still I believe that in seven years we will meet again. And that's when I g I'll give her this pin. The spot for Lab M8 will be left vacant, for now. Till then, I'll keep it in a safe place. Now there are only two pins left. One of them is for Lab M1. That's me. The remaining badge, which belongs to Lab M4, may never reach its rightful owner. Felicio's life. That's good enough for me. No one remembers those three weeks we spent with Kurisu. No one but me. I will remember. I will never forget. But uh, so I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. So what happened to the time machine then? I mean, obviously I ran out of juice, but if he went back to the this Steins Gate world line, did the time machine disappear once he became? Once he's appear? Did he just kind of like appear? In this timeline? But at the very least, the future is undecided. We're building it now. Not just me, not just you. But every man, woman, and child. So keep on watching. Wherever in this world you may be. I walk through the sea of shoppers, staring straight ahead. Just <laughs> so now, in the passing crowd, I saw her. The girl who shouldn't be here. It's not a mistake. Couldn't be. It's her. It's you! That voice. That face. That hair. Those eyes. Marcus Ekurisu is standing there, the same as I remember her. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ever since you saved my life. I was afraid I'd never have a chance to say thank you. I'm so glad we could finally meet. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank goodness you're alright. It's when I thought I had finally suppressed it. All my love for her flows out at once. So happy that I want to cry too. It's me. Why is she here? Reading Steiner didn't inactivate. What? Protect her? <laughs> That's a tall order, my friend. But if that is the choice of Stein's Gate, then so be it. Ella, Sai, Kong. I have no idea what to say. I open my mouth. We meet again, Christina. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not Christina, or your assistant, or... <laughs> How does this Kurisu know about that? Those were the names I used to tease Kurisu. She always got mad whenever I used them. They were a bond. A private joke. So how could this world line's Kurisu know? Shouldn't know. Uh, I... Why did I say that? What just popped into my head? Everyone has reading Steiner. Even if the world lines change, even if the past and the future are rewritten, your memories remain. You've merely forgotten. All it takes is a push and you can remember. The memories of those last three weeks. 
memories we made together. Welcome back, my assistant, Makise Kurisu. No, Christina. Christina. Nobody knows what the future holds, and that is why, just as this reunion de demonstrates, the possibilities are endless. This is the choice of Stein's gift. Fake end movie was added to the extra menu. True end movie was added to the extra menu. And that's it. That's me. Thirty six hours, guys. We finished Stein's Gate. We got all the tips. Oh my god, that ending. Thank god. <laughs> I was so afraid when it did that true end movie. I was like, please do not leave it up to interpretation. I need to know. And I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm. That was a fulfilling ending. And I'm glad we saw it. Uh, I mean, we still have some un unanswered questions. But, uh, like, they're not so unanswered to the point that I need to be like, yes, we need answers immediately, but... Uh, what does the freaking sequel do? Stein Gate Zero, what does that do? How do you follow this game up? I freaking love this game, oh my god, this might be my favorite game I've played this year. Like, oh my god. Uh, all the characters, I... They are so great. They were all so velvet, and I felt despair every single time I had to change an ending. Like, even if I got the bad end, I mean, even if I went for their ending or the true ending, I got an ending that made me feel sad. <laughs> and I hate that. <laughs> but I love it at the same time because a game doesn't do that to me that often. I mean, I. There are games that have a whole overarching story that I get sad at. This is the game that made me sad at every possible turn. The first half, I was like, oh god, something's gonna happen, something's gonna happen. But I was like, oh, it's just happy, it's just happy. Like, oh, it's maybe something happened, but we don't know yet, so I just, it's just happy for now. It's just jokes, it's just things happening that are funny because he doesn't understand the time machine, like, the time leap concept, or the female concept. And then after the halfway point, I almost said 12th episode, because in the 12th episode, that's when it happens. Which is the halfway point. But in the halfway point, I'm just like, oh my god. Everything's going dead. <laughs> Everything's bad. Everything's going not where it should go. Uh, I need to look in Stein's Gate Zero so badly now. If I have to do the visual novel on the PC, I will do it, guys. I, it, it, if it doesn't have an anime, I don't care. I'm doing it. Ah! I'm not waiting for an elite version. I don't know if that's going to be the next game I play, but I'm going to look into it. And if it is going to be the one I play next, I will do it. I will do it. Oh my god, guys. But seriously, thank you guys so much for all of you who have been here. Whether you guys popped in for just one chat, whether you've been on the YouTube videos and just commented. I appreciate all the feedback. I really... I know visual novels are not typically what I play. I do play like a variety, but... It was so nice to just sit down let myself be voice acting a little bit like I'm not a good voice actor by any means but I like bringing I like trying to bring my own life into these characters and I think that's one of the things that I really love about doing these type of games it's just yeah like this one had the Japanese voices but I interpreted it in my own way and the thing that I love about watching other visual novel playthroughs is the personality that each person brings to it I feel like that's something that you cannot replicate even if you do replicate it it's not the same Everyone has their own interpretation of the characters. Everyone wants to give their own life to their characters. And 
that what that is what makes connection that's what makes playthroughs like these worth watching in my opinion and if you guys just like hung around for a minute or like most of it like I'm happy you know like I'm happy that I was able to like go through this and just have it exist <gasps> I'm happy that on this world line dervish has played Steins Gate on another world line he may never have played Steins Gate and that will change his future dramatically but, uh, yeah, guys, this game, oh, man, this game is, <laughs> it's so silly to say this game means a lot to me, but it's, this game reminded me why I love games like these, because you fall in love with everything in the game, the music, the writing, the characters, you feel for every single decision you make, and that's what I really, those things hurt me. But at the same time, they make me so happy because, I don't know, you just experience emotions that you wouldn't have experienced otherwise. Uh, it's just, oh my god. I like... And then that ending, it's just, it gives me an ending that I'm happy with. Not necessarily, like... If it, is it fulfilling? Yes, but... It's not like a perfect ending. Everyone, we of course took most of the burn from that and that's fine but I'm glad that the ending we went for we didn't die I was afraid of that as soon as he I realized what he was planning when he said he didn't have the saber thing anymore I was like yeah he was gonna try using his own blood I was like how is he gonna p produce that much blood while not killing himself and yeah I guess he survived it but even so I'm just, I don't know, man. <laughs> I have so many emotions running through me right now. Way more than I have in any other ending. I didn't cry today, so I'm happy about that. Do I have a stuffy nose? Yep. I've been sniffing so much, I've been trying to keep it in. <laughs> but, ah, uh, this game. I, I love this game so much, and I really want to know what else this universe brings. I want to figure out why Steins Gate Elite Zero exists. Sorry, not Elite. I want to know why Steins Gate Zero exists. I want to know more about this universe, the characters. I want to figure out why everything is... Like, how do you make this into a series? This feels like a standalone thing. How do you make this into a series? I want to know. So I'm going to be researching a lot. And I don't know if I'm going to play the next game. Next stream, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to play it next month, next year. But I'm going to be, this game is going to stick with me. As much as Danganronpa was one of those games that I didn't think would stick with me. And it did. But for completely different reasons than this game has. And this game, is, I don't know, this game is just going to stick through me. Like, To the Moon, Finding Paradise, Danganronpa. All those games made a huge impact on me. I feel like this game did it again. I know it's silly to say that, but I just, that's how I feel. That's how I think this game just, this game just definitely brought a lot to the table and I finished it all and now I'm full and now I don't know, I, I'm going to have to lose that weight. <laughs> but I don't know what else I can say, guys. This game, this game was an adventure and I'm actually kind of sad it's over, like, it's not often that I can say I played a game fully blind, but this game I pretty much played fully blind. The things that I got spoiled on were things I could like basically come up with with my own deductions. So like I would see a a gif of Makise kissing Kiyoma. Like, come on, how did I not expect that to happen at some point? I see a freaking image of Jellified Mayuri. I'm like, oh god, that has to be one of the bad endings. But this game, I love this game, like, that's all I can say, guys. Like, I'm saying like a lot. I'm running in circles now, so I think it might be a good time to end stream. But again, thank you guys so much for coming here and just enjoying this game with me. Letting me enjoy this game. I didn't think this game would be, again, I'm running in circles. You guys already heard that spiel. But yeah, keep an eye out for more streams. I'll probably be doing something casual next time, but I will be looking into the other games and seeing what I can do. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your days. I'll hopefully see you guys sooner than later. And hope you guys have a good night. Bye.